many of you noticed? Ish, did you notice that Baba Mobad is a fine man? An answer man, no. Trust me, she no go let anybody touch that boy cops. Exactly. She no go let anybody because she go she go de paranoid that moment. Say, I don't understand. Minister, I don't talk widow, you know, that kind of thing. So able to go bury her, she no go let them. She go to tear everybody. Ne? But because she did with them, now they kill her. You get so now they make her just clear low now. They embalm the man. I am in Cardi. I am in Cardi. If they leave, I am in Cardi alone together with I, someone, one particular person. I'm not going to mention the person's name. <laughs> I'm sure the beating, the beating that person will receive. Eh? <laughs> mention sure. the person's name. <laughs> I'm not mentioning sure anyone's name. You know what? You talk. You talk. Yeah. Uh, I was, when I was on this guy's life. They were saying that me, I have a me, he gave me a, I won't do it. See, I won't do it that wish. One guy told me he won't do it Bella. <laughs> Another person told me he won't do it with me. Another person I do, I won't do it. Everybody get who he won't do. Bob, 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 in all fairness, yeah, serious now. God damn it. Um, I like the jokes apart, so I'm serious now. And I'm, I'm not be even, not be comment you. I just sit down, just the reason I'm saying, okay. Your you the person who you call your business partner, I being mean, your friend. Because we've seen a couple of videos where you be like, say you go call her ah, more go party now, or more go this show, blah blah blah. The guy pie, he pie mysteriously. You call you carry a wife and you begin. You adopt them, you go rent house for them. The house where they come up from Abicity, let me quickly make use of your space. Study your sorry, Abicity. Let me make it of a place. Thank you. The house with the collect with them day that they are that their husband get them because Karimo don't talk and say mobile no get anything apart from the one with the lucky. I'm from I don't know my two she around now. You know. You know. So uh, and the guy has been so silent. So silent. The thing was that they we went to a show. They wanted to give him Mubat's portrait. He rejected. Ah, wow. Nice to Me, I oh, know one thing I know. Daddy York, you guys are not talking about this Sheyi manager, and I'm so concerned about her. When Mubat travel to UK, they travel together. How come when they comes back, Mubat has a show in Kurudu, he didn't go with Mubat? Why? Mm. Did uh, you maybe... see? Uh, I don't know if you notice what I'm trying to say. Wait, we'll see. See, you know why I'm not even mentioning, you know why I'm not mentioning Shay. And the truth is, if if the conspiracy involves her, Darosha will talk. Because now we've seen the post of management. Uh, who, who are the people exactly. representing management now? I asked the question there, who, who is the management? Who, who has the management? The PA, the, manager, the manager, or the have lawyer? The PA, you have the lawyer. Mm -hmm. These are the three guys that should be involved in that letter they wrote. You the person Just that has, you have the person that has the password. Instagram. <sighs> which is and it's Instagram. Acting, Instagram. The, yeah, which is the acting CEO CY. Hmm. When the incidents now happen, they were saying uh, that uh, uh, Naramali said, I traveled, I wasn't around when he died. Then, uh, what's it called? Uh, Sam, Sam Larry said the same thing. They said the two is not around. All of them traveled at the same time during what? that period of time. Did you that see? That is the question. All of them. All yeah, of them. She, I, don't, I don't know the route. The same I don't know, time. I don't know the visa route of she. Maybe he's on his. Um, and, on what visa is she on? Mr. Lady. Sorry, Mr. Lady, when yeah. she traveled at that time, Sam Larry traveled, Nairamali traveled, and we heard that uh, this guy, sorry, uh, Prime Boy, he said I wasn't there, I was in my house. Did you see the story? Everybody, everybody travel, travel, travel. This one is going to You can see. Go this see. Go this see. Go this see. Then, then let me add this. Let me see. Huh. Let me say this to what you said. You see, she might have a good point for saying she traveled. But one thing I know, one thing I'm so sure of, we see anybody want to mon to buy money by Kubo boy. See only Mugariel, see only Jayaro. Confirm. Because now you can you you can put it up that that show that from the Abin issue, Mubad was not was not supposed to perform. 
because his name was not among the his, his picture was not even in the billboard for the show. Do you understand? So he, he might look at it like it was not it, if it was something that was that was um that they properly arranged the his name will have been among the guest artists, the banner, the publicity, he will have been there. You know, maybe that is why they feel that, oh, it was not an important show and the manager said she might not be there, she traveled. But one thing I'm so sure See, when I get their number, when I tell them, me they come out now. Me they come talk with him, the role with them, please. If not, very again, I don't know. Sorry, far, guys. Far, sorry, guys. Though. I don't know about them all this criminology and police stuff. How they do that thing? Police say they invited 26, they interrogated 26 people. Is he by law? I need to ask how you took when he comes here. Whenever he comes here, is it by law? Oh, name those people that they, they call for question. The 26 people they call for question. Sorry. So no, please, I'm care please. Sorry, I don't know if you got if is there a lawyer here that can let us know if Nigerian police can tell us the 26 people they told us they interrogated. Let us know them. Um, know them. Uh, light, light, let me tell you this one for free. Eh? Believe me, Nigerian police. Oh, I'm a Omar show. Nigerian police, they believe at your own risk. You do your own. No? I can tell you for free. Nigeria police, Nigeria police will be say, kidnapper, kidnapper, Nigeria police, now vigilance, they go rescue Nigeria police. They should be transparency, Baba. Yo, this is this is a murder, this is a suspected murder case. Oh, it should be side case. We should know the people they interrogated. You can't just say, eh, I guess that Adua, eh, I guess that Usha, I guess Bella, I guess Lata. No, we should even know if they Now, let me now ask you this. You are going to answer this question you ask yourself. Let me now ask you this. You that you are not a policeman, is it possible that you interview 26 people and that Russia that involved somebody will not be detained? Is it possible? No, now. No, now. So, when it comes to this issue of Nigerian police, please, they are talking. And when you, okay, let me now say this. Let me say this. I don't think maybe anybody noticed. There was, some, there was somebody that called into Barakata today. And I was saying uh, they should drag the government that has revealed blah 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 blah. You know what the the person the person the person called from um no, okay, I think it was Susan. She called from is in the know. And it's not when you look at his body language, he's not going to say any negative thing against the police. No. He, he won't. He's still he's still he's still, you know, pampering them, saying, Oh, no, they are good, good police people. They can do, they can, we only see them doing what they want to do. Blah, 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 blah. That's it. Now, say police go solve this issue. And that call he made to that PR that was his personal line, not his official line. Even the IG might not be listening to the conversation. So, for me, when the matter reach where it's supposed to reach, we go no. The only thing we can keep praying, let's keep praying for Baba. That's okay, oh. um, Baba, oh. uh, we'll, we'll, all the plan of the enemy concerning Baba, God would swat it, God will expose it. You understand? Because I, 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 I sit down my, at times, I look at the people that called yesterday. Or day before yesterday, and they were attacking this man indirectly. Yeah, she only is near a police. She only woman feeling, and it all lost the woman. That one point accusing figure. See, ah, and I, I tell you, she will be calling any jail. You, me, will call you. They must go out any jail. You, you must be angry. I can't see calm. You don't do it. Like I'm the magbo. I'm the angry. I'm magbo. Boy, I'm a bad rap. Um, <laughs> Vegetable, you are still there. Sorry. <laughs> no, 
no, it's okay. No, it's okay. I, I, I keep going in and out. Wait, wait, vegetable, vegetable, hold on, vegetable, hold on. By now, you and and he was trying to give us uh, an. It wasn't. It wasn't so much of an update, but he was trying to explain to us. That's uh, Neramali that travel is not supposed to be around when that thing will happen to Mobad. You understand? It was all on the script. It was all scripted. It was all scripted. So now, Nera, if we have calmed down a little, okay, we will realize that Nera Mali actually gave us a green light when we started accusing him. He said, we can work together if, if we can ask this question with him. And he tabled more than 27 questions, which till today, Nigerian police did not talk about it. They only asked him to come and he came, he went to them. We don't know what they discussed in the court. We just knew that they were giving bail. Do you get? Now, I want to take us back to this Mobad bar. What about Ayan and this music, this other guy that sings music? Ayan, uh, Ayan, a bit you know? That guy, uh, what's that his name again? Zlatan, that introduced him to that show. He went to Atikorodu. That that overnight show they included his name or his his his, his him performing that day. What happened to Zlatan? Can't Zlatan answer us this this part where we are saying was there a fight in that place? Abi Zlatan not there for that place. Was Zlatan not on ground in that show? Can't he come on and tell tell us what happened if there was truly a fight? Zlatan was on that show. So, for you to know that this thing is beyond with the poor masses, the, the average masses. It has to do with a cartel thing. It's a cartel thing. Okay? This cartel against this cartel. And government belong to a particular cartel that they wouldn't want to unveil or reveal to the world. That's, that will bring them down. Like, that will bring, bring a shame on them. So, that is why we are finding it difficult to uncode this Mubad case. But we all know what transpired. We all know where, we, where they are heading to. Even with the call, this, uh, our year, yeah, yeah, God forgive me, our, our PRO call today, it shows how, how funny, because that's the only way I can describe them, how funny the Nigerian security can be. Okay, it shows that we are not ready. The country is not ready at all. We, are, we, are, we ain't going anywhere. We ain't going anywhere. We are just there. So there is no justice. And they are trying to portray this thing that the, there is no much justice for a poor man. See, let me tell you, tell you guys something. Yuck, there is something that happens to me some years back, just three, four years ago. At the hospital, I took a patient to the hospital, you know. So the man was just there at the general hospital in Gokwalada in Abuja. The man was just there, no treatment. They would, they would just tell us to go and do this test. We'll go around that test. We will come back, we will give them the result. They will keep on writing drugs for us, no treatment. They, they did not assign the doctor to that man. So that very good day, I flew up. I was very angry. Then I said, what's the meaning of this? This man should be giving a doctor. This man was already swelling in the stomach. We don't know what was wrong with him. We went and did all the tests. And, it, they, and we confirmed what, what was wrong with him, but they refused to assign us a doctor for the guy. We we're just there paying bills. Then I flew up and the security guy said, he wants to push me out. I said, you can do that. I brought my patient here. And the next thing, the, the chief security came and slapped me. I'm telling you this thing happened four years ago. Then you know now as a Nigerian street girl now you can't slap me you know me you know smoke you know smoke mess I give the man four instantly you give me one I give him four four slap then the man called the police the police took me to the station and the next thing I would they would tell me the woman that hand over the case said madam I'm sorry to tell you this but you you can you even if you are right eh for the fact that the man slapped you the revenge eh. You, you cannot get, you, you know, if you get justice, okay? You, you, and you, you don't have a right when it comes to you and an hospital staff. That means now they are arresting me 
for, for retaliating the slap the man gave me. And for me to have done that, I cannot, I cannot, I cannot be, be judged right because it happens inside an hospital. So now it's, the, it's me against the hospital. I said, what the fuck? Immediately, I called Human Rights uh, Commission. I have a friend there. Then the guy came, the case started. But do you know they were already pushing me behind bars? For retaliating a slap, the security man gave me. They were almost pushing me behind bars. It was because, because I did not, I didn't fool, fool myself. I was smart enough to call. Then they came in. So this is the country we are. When you, you don't have money, you don't have affiliation, you don't amount to anything in this country. In this country, you are nobody. When you don't have this finance, you don't have money, you don't have power. You are nobody. You don't have a say. Yeah, that's what what woman told me. He said, Mana, you don't you don't get say. Mana, you don't get say. Just calm down. Make them just make you just pay for the for the slap where you just where you slap the man back. If I have not, I should have not slapped him back when he slapped me. That therefore fee see, see way turn the thing where for me. I say, what is this? Along the line, I just made my own as a story for you that if you don't get money, I'm gonna hide your face. If you don't get money, you're not no person for up. Hide your face. Do you understand? Now the country where we did be that, and they have make it stagnant. Okay, like that. They, they don't make it like that and a rule for them. They enslave us in our own fatherland. These are our big men. They will get they, they do us like foul. You pour corn or dawa for foul. Then come, come chop, come dance, 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 dance. Tomorrow you carry, you catch that foul, put it for side pot, cook chop. Now what then do us be that? So my brothers, my sisters, this is the country we are we, we, we are right now. And if we want to change this country, why are you always stopping me, my brother? She's taking my sort of money. Mm -hmm. eh? I'm trying to pass I a message. Ask one question. Okay, sir. At the end of the day, did they later collect money from you, from the police? I paid, oh, I paid ten thousand for the slap. I slapped the man. Oh. But the man, did you receive the? But the man, did you receive the slap? <laughs> I give him, I give him four slap. He give me one. I give him four. Were you satisfied after slapping him? Like you were, the slap follow? Very satisfied. Okay, you bought the slap with ten thousand naira. <laughs> you want to give him one? What's, your, what's your point? <laughs> I paid ten thousand, but later on, but later on, my brother, later on, when uh, human rights, when human rights commission now come into the issue, they they arrested the MD of this of of Google this auto two. When they arrested him for questioning in their office, he came. He said he have sacked that policeman when that uh, uh, security or guy that is of his clinic. Immediately he heard the man did that to a woman. He now claimed they have sacked the man. But let me tell you something. I still got there a few months ago. The man is still there. But they claim they've sacked him. So funny enough, a lot of things like this is happening. You don't have a say. Well, you don't have money. You don't have affiliates in this country. You don't have a say. And they have made it a, a, a normal thing. So now, now where they diaspora now? When we say, when they try come up now, make they try come up quick. Make, make this country for, for get better. Get more better. Make una involve in politics. Make una help us fix this country. Because me now I be woman, I don't under man. If bad as a bad, I feel, I feel only aspire for minister. That is if they will agree give me. You, you understand? Madam. So I don't with you now. Madam okay. Yuka, can you hear me? My ma? sister, I can hear you. Yeah, a slap <laughs> is two five. I understand. Continue, ma. <laughs> Okay. They're, they're okay. trying to know how much did you pay for that slap? Um, which slap? Which of the slap now? I don't think I say I paid $10,000 for the body man treatment. Oh, five, uh, the four times in return, now two to five per one. Uh, two five. <laughs> <laughs> the, man, the man bring his receipt, say the first slap I just say he get, he get injury for teeth side. And do a thing, doctor talk. My husband pay. Thank you so much, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> Thank you for that. So, thank you so much. Um, thank you. We, you know, we, we need to, for this Nigeria. Mark, we vote out these guys. People, they don't come to the to the box. They are not one of the panel. But you will always see them in live streams, and um, you will always see them. They are always in the comment section. If you don't see them in this platform, you will see them in that platform. You will see them in this platform. You will see them in that platform.
and I must, I think we need to begin to appreciate people like that. Yeah. No man said, Mommy, say the truth. Who owns Leham? Is this Sam Larry or Belegushi? And the new man said, the new man said, You know, I've been asking you, what happened to your husband? What step did you take? And Mommy keeps saying, If I should come out to talk about my father in law, you people will stop my father in law to death. I don't want to say anything because Liam will grow. I don't want Liam to be seeing that I said this, I said that. Are you saying? Oh. Everything is available on the internet. Internet does not forget. Are you joking? You better come out and you know put your sanity before 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 yourself. What is going on here? So what fly give me? Well, like I said, mommy, do the, the right thing. Stop disturbing us. Stop confusing us. Thank you and so that much, Weston. Thank you so much. I really appreciate Wait, it. So does it mean that since money, uh, people have not been hearing my voice? Where is Tom? I said they've been flagging this page, or they've been flagging my own page too. I beg God. He help himself. They started flagging his page. I went back to join Veron. It was telling me that uh, life access denied. Yeah. Live access. It's Apple, it's Apple to yeah. And I know on each talk. And I know that Veron was enjoying the conversation. We were even interacting, and Veron was uh, was in his mood as usual. We were interacting. So Who's there is that? never Who's going to be a way of this. We have to do to fast track this issue of DNA. Number one. Number two. Is there anything that is holding about taking more actions? You know, remember. The reason why these people are having too much ample time is because we have been too slow in our moves, in our steps. And you say you're going to find out because Prime Boy spending, they are people that have some information. And these people do talk. And I said, is there a way you can talk to the movie too? Is there a way you can the The other way around, but you are going to get the the of course get it now if prime boy spending nurse and all of them have been at the corona inquest to say whatever they want to say and they've given account and mommy is yet to talk mommy has not been called to come and appear mommy has been given time that is going to turn to miss time and he has not she she's not allowed to talk do you think corona inquest will still be locked down do you think people will still be saying that they cannot open the court until autopsy and pathology is out do you think they will suspend mommy from talking do you think that the court will say mommy should hold on until they get result of pathologists why do you think that they are not allowing the major people the person that is at the crime scene the person that seems to have applied or administer injection the person that is known to be even when we said it in the conversation with the senior man that meaning that women know something about the nurse that gave injection that she's not talking about so why are you saying about the nurse the nurse is not allowed to talk what is spending monday the locks depending up they lock him up for several months the spending was not allowed to talk. They locked Prime Boy up. They even called Prime Boy wanted when they took Prime Boy to Panty. Up to now, they've not allowed Prime Boy to come and talk. These are the key people that should give us information. It doesn't mean they are guilty. It doesn't mean they are not guilty. They shut them out. But those people that are not even at the crime scene, they've gone to the court to blah, 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 blah. blah. Even those that are at the crime scene have gone to say nothing. All of them are there and the sister they, they don't know. They were even scared to mention the nurse. They were even scared to mention they were trying to 
point fingers to Sam Larry indirectly, Naramali, Prime Boy. Not even if they have come to say, ah, hey, hey, these people have a script too. They have a script. They even if all of them have come to say, I, I, I don't know if I'm right or wrong, but I don't, I don't, I don't want to call the nurse the killer. But I'm suspecting the injection because it was after injection that Mubad died. If A has said the same thing, if B has said the same thing, if C has said the same thing, that don't mean, so doesn't mean they are calling the nurse the killer, but they are saying that it was after that very action that the whole thing went down. That would have made sense. We cannot begin to say, oh, I hope this, we, people cannot connect that to say, hope this nurse has not been, you know, sent by someone. Hope this injection is not a fake injection. Hope Ah, or a team of egg Ben Ulim, my yellow between your king, yellow man, so go to your king. So, if they have said that, it is easy for us to see that. Question, question, who is threatening you? All the people you paid, you deny them in the voice notes with Abu Abel and uh, Hayat. You threw your, your press singers under the bus. People told you the truth and they, and they chose to throw a lie. You threw them all under the bus. Now you want to make peace with the same people who are fighting for justice. And in the course of making peace, you are still writing petition that they are threatening your life. They are waiting you want now. It will offend you. Do you want peace or war? Which one you want? For all intents and purposes, nobody is threatening you, girl. Wake up. You can't be, be, begin to do emotional blackmail. We've gone beyond that, girl. As you call Janet. There are over 240 countries in this world. Will we hear me and hear me well? We all want to know the truth. Okay? Re? Okay? Re? In fact, the MC, this is what the best people say. How then they call our Wumi and Loba? She married Mubai, that time Mubai died. Even for police record, she's Wumi Cynthia Adebanjo. She just wants to tag along with that Aloba name. She wants to reap where she has not sold because she kept saying, my husband, my husband, in that, in that science and Abu Ebes audio. Meanwhile, when Mobad died, you call Mobad nigger. How did nigger become husband, girl? Omo, um, nothing for you. On this matter, we stand. Nobody is threatening you. We don't get your time. All we are asking is that what killed Mobad? Who stabbed Mobad? Who embalmed Mobad? Who put continue for Mobad nose? Who shaved Mobad head? Who cut Mobad fingernails? It's not asking you. We are not falling for your tricks. We are not falling for your emotional blackmail. We are not falling for your reverse psychology. We have moved past that. My panelists, my members, my commenters, please don't be rattled by this. Arifa, if they want evidence, we have evidence. Thank you, sir. Forget that boy till he die. That, that name, that picture will never be erased from his heart. So why are you trying as much to nail this man? Why? What did he do? Because he came out to say his own side of the story that my son told me that you normally cook indomie for, 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 for him and you put something. Eh? Even your sister confirmed it and you too, you confirmed it that the, the drugs were prescribed. That means Baba is not lying. Why are you trying as much as possible to nail this man? This man lost his son for God's sake. He will never see this man again, the boy again. And you, you will still move on with your life. The only person I pity for is Liam because he's innocent. Liam should have come, come, come to this world through another mother. You, you not deserve that boy. You not deserve him at all, Wumi. Hmm. This is my take, oh, me, I don't know. Justice for more bad. That is all I, I, I care about. Somebody make it help you bear somebody. You want draw those people's attention to your side. And this thing not be possible. Anybody where they fight for justice, now we go follow. If you join us to fight for justice tomorrow, we go follow her too. That is the bottom line. Anybody where they fight for justice, we don't know more. They look for justice. That's why we are all following him. And we continue following him till we got that justice. And if she wants to join tomorrow, if the Mama Moba would want to join Baba for justice tomorrow, we will follow all of them. And their family, but we now don't become all of us case now. We must find justice for this matter. As they say, people do get power day behind them. People will get some strong day behind this story. 
we don't care. We want to follow this matter till we get justice. And that's where we are here for. So let's us continue looking for that justice and make sure we look for our, look after our own head. As Arifa, you said you will not be sleeping for two days. My brother, sleep o, eat o, lap your pill, drink o. You understand? It's because it. Emi o, emi o. What they talk about for you? Basically, emi o la, emi o ni ba 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 la yeso you buy. We don't get too hard o. Now only one we get o. So make we try much as possible. Make we the rest. Make we give this thing low. Now we don't take it. For me, me I believe say. We don't get close to justice because na break we day now. So all this one that they talk and I mean I know I don't even get I don't want to listen say sometimes say which which would they listen to? Make we listen to break it. Because they don't come Lagos, don't do his own investigation, don't see Lagos State Governor, don't go equal do go search everywhere. The man will come up with something as una wona they follow the man, have trust in the man. Like me, I've never I've never heard of, of him before. He was recently heard of break it. That one no be say I know they I know they invoke, you know what I mean. Now, now they have a bracket, and most people they say they get confidence in him. So let's follow those people that have confidence in him that this man will find justice for this boy and the family. So I pray we all witness this justice. We don't go seek, we don't go anything, no go do us. We go do fit and well. We go do this justice. That is my submission. Conscience is the one driving you crazy. You have a lot to say. But you don't want to say because this is karma. I don't believe in a long time karma. It's karma that is troubling your heart because mobile spirit is very, very strong. Most spirit is very, very strong. So it's the one chasing you. You understand? So you don't have any evidence. This evidence, the uh, Arifa your split now is not evident enough. So you both doesn't have any evidence to prove in the course of law. You understand? So if you have something to say, better come out and say it. It's not going to be a long time. Maybe they'll just give you 20. 20 years is not too much now. 20 years plus your age, 40 something years. After you still come out 48 years or 50 years, you you'll still be okay. Because uh, a killer must not go from you must you must receive that thing because you take away glory, a light, a mole. You understand? You get mine though, you strong. For you to take that glory, for you to off the light, you are very, very demonic. You understand? Wish a lot of people are looking for this kind of glory to protect, to preserve. But because of your selfishness, because of your demon art, I know because if I'm talking, you people used to block a lot of things about me. Don't worry, today is for you. Let me talk to you, babe. You understand? So you got you 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 got the mind to off this fine boy, this fine boy, the the glory you off it. A boy that came out of poverty said, "No, let me come out of this family. Let me prove myself." Then you just hove the lie. Love is not by force. You didn't love this guy. You could have go away from this guy. Let another person to the place. But no, you did not because of your wicked heart. Because you came from a rugged and a bad family. Family, a harrogate family that doesn't have caution you take away this boy glory don't worry you there's no id place for you no a sinner let me tell you girl a sinner doesn't have a hiding place no we even though you hide under the ground the the fire will dig you at and he's going to trouble you you will never never have no peace that is for sure 100 percent sure you understand no matter how you use the money you're not going to find joy you're not going to find peace because the lord who is going to flog you the spirit is going to deal with you 100 percent sure so nobody is looking for you nobody is threatening you you have already said something you understand when abu ebe was asking you what happened to mobile you use your arrogant voice to be silencing that uh, question they asked you we all know what happened to me but just come back not a uh, social media you want to say what happened to me just take a flight go to bracket and go and tell you what exactly happened because you said to everybody that 15 people is living with you guys you want to tell me that mobile is too gal is too fat or it's too robust that 50 people cannot drag mobile to the hospital come on why are you lying because we used to see mobile in the hospital say please i don't want to die i don't want to die i don't want to die now you you have to go to coma that mobile doesn't like to go to hospital he love uh, uh, all this agbo uh, traditional abba medicine why are you lying you lie too much another lie you say you say you didn't even know samblari 
that is a number one evidence we will use it against you number two you say you didn't even know all those people that is fighting fighting injustice you deny them where well, those people are so foolish because they 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 they, they, they hear the voice made that you deny them and they are still writing nonsense that people is threatening you where well, i don't have a lot to say about you i still have a lot of things to insult you because me i i don't have joy i will destroy you because the way you keep mobile me i will insult you till you go to that j that's for me now but, but i'm gonna play the song again for better i woke up i said my very early in the morning i woke up i said my prayers i woke up i said my prayers i put a call through to my mom or i spoke with my mom because even me, I don't know me. Let's listen again. And saying, uh, Mom, who am I? In my understanding, and I stand to be corrected, I think this is a man who is crying out for help. This is a man who is going through a mental breakdown. This is a 26 years old boy saying, who am I? everything is not making sense at that point and the way he knows how to express himself is true music now the mom said she came back to his life and she's been there she used to so how, why would he be asking this the same questions except somebody's telling me the timeline he wrote the music the mom had not come back then but that's a lie because he said i speak to my mom every morning so what did she do to alleviate the pains he was go he was facing? What did she really do? It's it's so I don't like to come in from the spiritual part, but it's so shocking that you know your mother, you you come into your child's life for whatever reason you left, you came back, and you can't play a pivotal role in his life. It is too shocking to you know to even try to understand or comprehend that. But it's, show, it's actually showing to me that even though she came back to his life, she absolutely did not feel the void that he had. It's just clear from that music. Now, people who write music and understand music and understand the music industry, tell me if it's not true that artists sometimes, some of them tend to write about their lives. Then I would stand to be corrected. But as, my, as much as I'm concerned, this is the case. He, was writing about his life story and uh, his father or somebody also confirmed that he loves to put whatever he goes through in his music. So that justifies that. You didn't play any pivotal role when you came into his life, despite coming back to his life. Because as a mom, forget the fame and everything. You came back to his life, the questions that he was having, the pains he was going through, your duty as a mom was to alleviate those pains, was to give him some sort of reassurance, was to build that support system, that confidence that he needs to be able to face the war, the challenges, the bullying, whatever it is he was going through. Oh, you can go ahead, you can go and, ahead. And you didn't. So this further justifies that you failed as a mother. And for you to have the guts, the effrontery, to be able to come back on social media, to rant and blab to a man who tried to fill those voids, you coming into his life, you made the father become whatever the father was trying to do. You made it seem as if, oh, you were the best. He was doing nothing. And boy, obviously boys are very close to their mothers if they, some of them are, let's say, not say most of them are, they love to be close to their mothers. You came and gave him this mir mirage of I'm here for you. And you did not deliver on that. And now you have the guts, you have the effrontery to open your mouth, to castigate a man who has given everything he could give to the boy. And you actually shot him out of his life. And then you have the father guts to come and pretend to give a fake cry when you already knew what happened to this boy. As a matter of fact, that he died on Monday because you were called first, you called to ask, and then you got a frantic call and you have never to date stated what happened, what you went to do 
after you got that call. Mobad's mother, boss said, Dave, that's your name. It would be a shame for you to open your mouth any other time to speak because you are a disgrace to humanhood. I'm sorry to say you, you're, you, yes, my mom is a, is a bit older than you, about 10 plus years and she's in heaven, but I, I wasn't going to talk about you, but I'm sorry, I've got to say that. You are a disgrace to humanhood. You are. And for you to come out furthermore, to add more pain, to come out to say, to make a mockery of me and every other person who has cried tears, prayed, coming online, burning, sacrificing our time to say, we want answers to know what killed this young boy. And you make a, you actually make a mockery of us seeking for justice. I think you should hide yourself in shame. And I'm sure what I'll leave you with is the guilt of you failing that boy twice in his life will take you to your grave. I would not say an early grave, but it would take you to your grave because you failed him. No other person had a spiritual authority and even more right to be there for that boy like you. You are the one that brought him out of your womb. That umbilical cord was caught from you. You gave him the life, the first food he ate while he was a fetus in the womb. It was your food. Whatever you ate, he was, he was eaten. It is shocking to see the, him stating the fact that you failed him. It is shocking. And to most of us who have listened to this song, if you put on your analytical cap to think, you can actually see that he is passing a message. How, how was he so distressed that even while he was supposed to be in the comfort of his home, in his safe place, he still had no peace. And we we'll meet now to you. You're playing games, you're running around. It's actually preposterous for you to open your mouth to write a, a, a petition to Sahara reporters because you know it's one of the global newspapers that people in the UK, US, where I think you're trying to seek asylum or residence, whatever it is, would see you're actually playing a game. It's very preposterous. You have bullied this man. You have called him names. You have said he killed your uh, partner or your boyfriend, if I can put that, because I cannot say he's your husband because you're not bearing his name. Obviously, you're not married to him. You have bullied him consistently. You have always you know, accused him and called him names. Now, him being a man who has a good heart, he has not charged you. He has not actually gone out there to say, okay, this is what you're doing to him. How about we turn off the switch and turn it on you? How would you feel? You've now gone to the point that you, you've got so condescending to raise an army of fools. They're like moot robots who just go on there and all they do is to either the report accounts, they try to, you know, mess people's names up say nasty things that are not true just because they are wanting to fight for justice for you i thought the justice was meant to be for your partner your acclaimed husband as you call him who died you have Falana's chambers why has Falana not come out we all know we're not daft it's not someone Lu that took those specimen and sent it to wherever they sent it to when the autopsy was done, one of one of the family members, which you claim to be a part of, was informed that this was going to be done. The chief medical examiner or the chief coroner, whoever was there, whatever is the term, you guys correct me, you guys know the exact terms, who was there when the specimens were taken? Why has Falana, your lawyer, that you set up to set up a coroner inquest, not written to them? I'm still asking that question. Why has he not written to the chief coroner who ensured that these samples were taken and sent to wherever it was sent to about the update of this. Anywhere, I will speak for the UK where I live. If a toxicology is taking that long, they would write to you to tell you why it's taking long. They would inform you. They don't just keep you in the dark because by normal standard, autopsies take no more than four to six weeks. But I've not heard where your Falana and whatever else 
lawyer or whoever whoever's the knob you have gotten to you have recruited into your army has come out to say yes we have written to this we've written to the chief corona of the state we're asking what are the timelines that we should expect this toxicology your same falana that opened the inquest if I understand correctly, and Andy and every one of you has more details, correct me, ensured that the corona inquest was closed down. Why is that? Great. Why were the nurses and the other pers the other suspects not called up to question, and even you that was in the house, again, to to, to be properly cross? Because like the things you said didn't make sense in the corona court. But all these things just shows to your face that you're not looking for justice at all. You were not looking for justice. And it's, as I said, I use back the term, it's actually preposterous that you come out online after you have spoken to your stupid fools who should believe you and you play the narcissistic, you know, projection of crime, trying to put the blame on somebody else. It's not you and cry and those emotional games to act as if, oh, you were being, you were fighting for justice and Baba Mubad and his team is trying to obstruct you. I put it to you, Wumi Adebanjo, whatever is your name. There is no Baba Mubad team. Baba Mubad has one team, and that is team justice, which are three questions that have been asked. What happened to Mubad? What were the timelines of e events that led to his death? And the third question that is pertinent on everyone is, it's five months today. Where is the toxicology autopsy re re result? And what are the timelines that we should, or the time frame we should expect this? What is the reason why this toxicology is being delayed? I'm not even going to go on the DNA bit for now. I'm going to leave that up for another day. But those are the three important questions that we're asking. So please, Wumi Adebanjo, do not ever, I understand that obviously your level of reasoning is very low coming up from the streets. But as much as you're smart enough to play the manipulative game, to display a narcissistic trait, you should be smart enough to know that the people who are asking these questions are not fools. We all didn't grow up from the street. We've got street sense, but we didn't grow up from the street. And until you can answer those questions, shut your gobshite mouth and every other person who works for you because you have nothing to say. Thank you. I dare you. If I go on my knees, these two news, if I go on my knees for you, I dare you. Ah, and now you look at this, yeah? This is Then do you have anything to say about that? Yeah, what do you mean? Mr. Andy, there is water. Water is pouring. Okay. 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 So as it is now, I wouldn't want to put myself in a position where I will let them stamp out the results. I believe truly is ready for the DNA. Huh? No, go ahead, go ahead. No, I'm not. I said, uh, I said, I cannot commit myself to somebody that said people make it like this. So, yes. So I believe it is. I believe even when we were trying for the DNA, we will get the court order because I would not want to put myself in a situation like they want. They want to stamp out the results of it. Thank you. Thank you, Umi. Okay, go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. I give you. I will give you one one minute more. Okay, go ahead. Okay, and also, I, I, all I want the public to know is that, as little as I am, I am still the mother of my child, and nobody, I repeat, nobody in this world is going to take his life away from him. Thank you. Not with with or without his father, nobody is going to divide away from him. And I still remain the mother of my child, and I have every right for me. Thank you. So, in making it, in making it look publicly like I'm trying so much for you, no, no, no. I'm only trying to be cautious because, cautious because I will look at that is what you really want to be. Like, you want me to come over to my child? 
life on a week. It's okay. Sometimes it's okay, mommy. Enough. Enough. Can you pause it? Enough. Can you pause it, enough. Andy? I'm going to tell you something. You Andy, can you pause it? Yeah? You Andy, are, can you pause it? Like you said, you said, uh, as little as you are, nobody can take that. You I think it's far away from the phone. Let's just listen to the let's, com let's listen to the complete. You need to stand your ground, yeah? You need to stand your ground. I don't want to see you crying anywhere. Stand up on your feet, yeah? Nobody will take the right of Liam away from him. Okay? Everybody, no need right to let him live. Sure, you understand now. So we go at the Halle. Tiba Ban Halle Mwe. Okay? If he needs the DNA, let him go to the court and get the and get the court order. Without that, listen to me. Enough, enough, enough. Don't talk again. I just want you to listen. Don't talk, mommy, please. Please, if you really need the, the DNA, let him go to through the court order. The court. So let him get a court order. Telling you to go to his uh, his lawyer is uncalled for. Okay? He won't call no request for him. I will not request for him. If whenever he's ready, let him go to the court and request for the court order. See one about to share in court one about first share. Let him do it. Okay? That Nigeria is for everybody. All right? So you can nobody and nobody, nobody. Nigeria. Nigeria is for everybody. And stop crying. Stand up on your feet and, and fight for your right. And let me tell you something. Because you you are still the mother of your child. All right? So, man, they came up. The bully, you cannot satisfy bully. They just want you crying. Anytime you cry, do you give them more power? Stand up on your feet and wipe it with your tears. Also, you understand? We are rightly behind you. Nothing will happen to you. I will lay here. Don't go be I won't be ring, ring, ring. Someone near Konile. Someone more bushy. They are rightly behind, behind you. Also, you understand? Man, take anybody hard and more, more. Long way. Go long shower. Go bust on the bed here. Kusu. Anybody. Don't be sharing gale. Yeah. Court. I have law, law, law. I am doing. Also, you understand? Got you So that's what I'm gonna say to you tonight. Okay. Don't say anything again. All right. Good night, okay? I know about a warm way, so to understand. Thomas, you need the court. Uh, Thomas, you need the journey. Let, let him go to the court, okay? Simple as that. Court, court, she won't bend here. Come and hire more and more. You're not going behind any court. That is a journey for anybody. It's never going to happen, okay? So, not soon. So, to go, yeah. I'll talk to you again. Thank you very much. Bye bye. Yeah. Rubbish. Okay. Bye bye. Thank you, Valley Soro. Mr. Andy. And this is where I'm starting from this afternoon. Bogbo and won to ba ni owo ni iku mo ba e ni je eyan mo eni ni Sunday ojo aji e ni e ma kunu ya ma fo tole ku ni gbogbo nkan to ba wa ni owo oyin to fun yin ni to fun yin bonus o ma jabo ku ni e ma ku tomo tomo ni ti ran diran aye yo ni ta se amen I I just am better than you. I just can't run for combat. I want to talk about that voice uh, conversation. She said two things. I'm picking from there. First of all, I'm picking the fact that she said that um, when they ask her, "We, bon kanti father in law, so kini kini olungbo," that she doesn't want any mix up. That is why she's uh they should go through court that if it was within the family that would have been better but now it's not within the family anymore blah 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 he should go and get court order because she won't she doesn't want the result to be um to be tampered yeah uh -huh. he doesn't want the result to be tampered with first of all is it court that is it with court order that they used to tamper with result or court order will say they should not tamper with result? Let's leave it like that. The second one I'm so interested in. She was saying that I repeat, nobody can take the right of Liam away. That is where I am this afternoon. Now my question is, right wo lower lower Liam don't fair take away. Now, that means on jogate, ko jogate, it's like what we are hearing now is being truthful. If you're saying that nobody, you repeat, nobody can take the right of Liam away, are you indirectly telling us that all mobile will that has been willed to Liam 
Is that why you're trying to say that you're repeating yourself? Oh, wa fo shole wa kuni wumi. I want parents and want for you to come. Kyo do it up badi. Chori bita and borrow loy. I bita and borrow loy. I'm a she show for him. Okay. <laughs> Wumi, after any 21 days, most of you see, after any, to bati mo ijare, waba wani ijare, after any 21 days, to bati, to bati, to bati, lo she, mo jen she. Ay, 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 bo, 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 me je, i ho, wo, no, ma, wa, 20, 20, she had run for in the next 21 days. Most of you any, Ko 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 no wa ni anything. To ba ti jekpe o no wa ni ni iku iku mo ba di se. Wumi, in ko meji mo ba eje. To ba ti lo wa ni ni iku mo ba di. Ti liya mo ba ti shomo mo ba do beri mo se. A jengba o beri mo. Kori bo bo nko to ba du mo e mama kwa ene kuli. O mama kwa ele kuni. I have fit over to my own cool mobad. I have fit till I am to buy a cream mobadi lobby. But show the major genie. Nobody can get in shape mobad lobby. Liam to the jack will lower sin new queer woman. Go see Bobo got to buy bed and to buy me a duck my lower. Go see got to buy what jay ya, what jay way ya. Wari o wo bai, wari pepa wa akpe lo wo. Wumi, mo fi o lor ron ba ti mo si mo fi shi e leri. To ba ti jeg wik pe se. Ki in she wo. Ki in she bo ba di lo bi li am o fun. To ba di jek pe o mo lo mo ni li am. To de fe, to de fe dog ban. To lo pa di kpe o mo lo ya to wili. Te lo chenji wili bo bo yen. Te gbe fo ri o lori. To de ni o wo si nou yiku mo ba di. Wai, wo yi wo wo ba lo ma ja wo ja. Ah, shan shi re ni. On wa e ni wa. On fu wa. On tu so kwe you repeat. Repeat ik pa e. O ni jeri. Mon bo e jen koko lo. E mo fe koko lo wa shofu fun. A shofu fun. Mo fe fi she le to kou fun. Mo fe lo. A wan mo fe lo wa. A shofu fun. Mo fe fi she le to kou fun. Yom da di ti bi no kou la ro yi. Mo ni mo so. Mo kwe ni e me. To ba ti jen wik pe. Kadan 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 me gida. Kadan kadan me gida. ダディ。ヨンダディエシェス。エシェスロ。あ、ウィペアンソロ。オンソペユリピートオニユリピート。ウィペコサニッボディトンバグバンコンディライトフュリー。アヤフィトバディジェクペモバディロビリアム。ボ
fi gbogbo eleko ma lo na o leave everything leave mobad's life leave it behind you take your son and take a walk if you have that liver dna everybody has been saying it it's not why are you why are you making yourself feel important take a walk toba jobiri gidinye toba dare loju if you know you have that confidence and you have that liver take a freaking walk leave everything everything that you are fighting for everything that has been motive for you right from when Ilary slept and never woke up show us super original more corny now call our bluffs and take a walk look at look at the way you sound you don't have peace of mind no rest for you it shows it shows in your voice why are you why are you oh your morogu don't 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 stare wooden spoon you're staring everybody i said it already i said after the voice note that you recorded with abu bell before monday or by monday you will come up with something else and you did just that larry is five months today according to his mother that he slept and never woke up you're always always on the edge always cooking up something and you didn't disappoint us you came up with this yesterday the person doing that interview is she not in our husband's house her, her kids not with her the keep pushing you and you're pushing yourself please take a walk leave everything leave all the things that you want to fight for leave all the properties whatever money involved I dare you, I triple dare you, I fop dare you to infinity. Leave it and we'll take a walk. And we'll forget the whole thing. Baba Mubad will bury his son. Atimokpe, nkote, most people, ton jafu. Okay, because he need for money, eh? Oh, le fek bomo ba, for sure, ko expect to pick everybody, that can now. Why are you scared of a freaking DNA? It's not like the liposuction or the breast kidney control on the other guy. To seal up the crime scene. Why? You people, we supp in fact, we supposed to drag you. Why did you people do that? You are the one that put us in this junction we had today. Nigerian police, shame on you people. Why will you allow people to tamper with evidence? Why? Why? If we talk say Nigeria no good, Nigeria no good. Even the citizens they do their own. Nigeria, you two, you, Nigeria police, you people contributed too much to this insecurity, to whatever in, whatever is going on in Nigeria today. You people cost it. You you cost it. How about now? You, for you people to leave uh, the, the crime scene on seal. In fact, you you return us to to square one. And God will ask every one of you, every one of you on duty that day. God will ask you people. You people must taste part of what we are feeling now so that you will know how it feels. You know how it feels. I'm still coming back to you. Now, to see why and our lovers and Nigerians, through some Nigerians, Moba told CY in the voice note that was trending that if you and your family have been doing this, now for your own head, you now go stop. Not be only see why that matter they as in Mubad they refer to for that voice note. Even to some Nigerians that because you are in a particular position today, so you people thought you can do any, you'll be doing anyhow for long. Nobody, eh? Nothing they happen. Anything where you say like this, even if na trash, even if na rubbish, nothing they happen. No, many things go they happen from now on. That's where we we they tell you na say me kuna stop to they do. That that that. That power, that power where they intoxicate you people that whenever you are in power like this, you just they misbehave. You just they do anyhow. Anything we not like you not just they do. We not know they think, we not know the reason about us. Now on our life alone, we are the as in una de, una de focus on. Yoruba used to say something that Oroshini wo. If this thing happens to you people, if it happens to una family, she rather that and she be your local. Is this how you people will be doing? 
if it happens to be your son, if Mubad happens to be your blood, if it happens to be your son, will you people be telling us this trash? You people are telling us. If Mubad happens to be your, your, your blood, your loved ones, if Mubad happens to be your glorious child, that, that, that one, that special child that is the glory, the breadwinner of your family, will you people be doing this? Will you people be doing this? And see, both the lawyer, both the government, both the police, in fact, any one of you that is in one power or the other in this Mubad case, eh? If you people have been doing this oriburuku for longer, eh? now this Mubad case, when I go, you stop them. Because it's better you do good, though, if you do otherwise, you people will go down. People will forget you. History will forget you. And whenever history will remember you to be for the bad, even if you people are dead, in your dead, we'll still be remembering you in cause. We'll be cursing you. Because you've been doing it for long. You've been causing us pain for long. We've been holding it for long. Lucky Togate was there, the one you did during Lucky Massacre. That you people just do, you, you, you do your reburuku as usual. You thought you, you want to, you, as you want to sweep this too down under the carpet. Ah, it's a fail. It's a fail. And back to Wumi, Madame Adigan. Um, because you and your follower, I can see you people, you were confused though, but I will bring it to your notice back. You said two things, two things, you said two things and I will remember you, I will remind you the two things you said. You ran to social media, you said, you've killed the nigger, come and take your trophy. Mumi, tell us who we should give the trophy to, we want to give, that trophy now, eh? we don't buy them, it's our hand. We want to give it to that person, you came to social media to come and tell us, to come and give trophy to. Yeah, yeah, now yes, we want to give that trophy to those. Yes, and amen. It's not the, they, they have. Yes, they have killed the nigger. Yes, those people that killed that nigger, those people, those sets of people, maybe they, they be hundred or they be thousand. In fact, if they are hundred, one by Nigeria, anything, if they be thousand, they are nothing in Nigeria. Oh. So those people, those people that have killed the nigger, eh? Nigerians now, eh? The truth, Nigeria, the true fighter of justice of Nigeria, eh? We don't get the trophy ready. We won't give the trophy to those people. So come and lead us to those people. Because without you doing that, without you coming out to tell us those people that we are giving those tr the trophy we bought to, you don't go rest, believe it, Allah kwa. You don't go rest, oh. And the fact that you said, the fact that you said, you've killed the nigger, come and take the trophy. And you also told Baba Mubad that hey, Baba, Eloro, Baba should go and invoke the spirit of Mubad so that Mubad will fight and kill the people that uh, find Mubad. Even though we later find out that Baba La Otosha Fair in Funga Yotiwa, we find out that you that said Baba should go and, do, uh, should go and, uh, should go and recall Mubad's spirit. To go and invoke mobile spirits. You say mummy, you do the other part of it that even if they do the invoking stuff, you know, go work because you don't put something inside now. As some you could buy. So those people, those the reason, the reason behind you saying Baba, Eloro, and you've killed the nigger. Come and take that trophy. Those two things, eh? To also, those two things you said, mummy, you need to come out and explain to us. She be. You talk before saying you know no any explanation. <laughs> Why you can't they run to your bloggers now? <laughs> your matter. Mumi matter is like person where police arrest. Where you talk, say, you know they pass uh, you know they pass where people go to see Amo. Maybe you pass where people go see you. Maybe you pass where people no go see you. You must reach station. You like it or not, you, you go reach station. That is the fact. So, and Please, so Arifa, am I am I permit to talk about uh, the show today? But I get the show today. Thank you, <laughs> and and to to their leaders because you people that you thought you are leading us in Nigeria, you are actually leading yourself. You are not leading us because it's obvious. The way you people are embarrassing your generation, we are cool with it because oru komo oni ja normal. And Tori Kiyomole Daron, Lashiman Somoloruko, if you if you think you have name, that that your name, eh, you can do your name anyhow. It's cool now. Shebi is your name. 
Have you seen what you people are demonstrating? Have you ever seen anyone attaching my surname to some holy surname? Or have you seen anyone attaching my name to Oshiba the surname? No. It's your name. If you do it anyhow, history will not forget you. History will not forget you. They're buying a whole human being. And they are calling you people. You people are bringing attack. Attack. They are calling you to ask him. If, in fact, Bereketa called that man. The uh, Commissioner for Information today. But in fact, see, Commissioner for Information, if you are under my voice, or your heads are here, or people that are screen record, they should screen record this and play it to you. Let me tell you what you did today. If nobody have told you, me and I will tell you. Commissioner of Information, why you they defend yourself? Why you they defend yourself? What do you do? Because as of today, Berekete never even enter matter. You do already carry attack come. What is wrong with you people? Kilo di tag balagba in shemanjo lang balagba. Ah ah, they call you um, uh, commissioner for information or whatever. Then the next thing, your life on radio. That man never talk. Go and really, in fact, thank God is the, the the call is documented. Go and listen to it again. Daddy, why? Why are you people doing like this? And why you can't? You see the insult people are passing to you today. They said uh, that most of you are, 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 are politician thugs. Because you actually demonstrated it today to us. They called you. They have not even come. The bracket have not even go into the details why he called you. Pua, you flare up. If person call you, you don't go allow make that person tell you why he called you before you flare up. You are just embarrassing yourself. You are not embarrassing us. So you people are not embarrassing us. Believe it. Because Nigerians have been crying. We've been telling people that our leaders are nothing to write home about. But today, thank you to the national television, you bring yourself out to the world. People can see how impatient our leaders can be. People can see that we are actually, we are managing you people. You are not the one managing us. We are the one managing you. Because many of you force yourself on us. We don't want many of you. We are not interested in many of you. You force your way to that place. And when you get there, see, See about to J Bon in lower, and you people are thinking that there's nothing we can do again. We will cut off that hand. If we talk, say we won't come out. You they do agidi, we go come out the hand. I'm a girl one year down. If you now get hand again, where that will go constant. Could it be drosimo? Could it da for could it da fentolo? You people are so heartless. They call you, they call you that. They call you, in fact, the caller have not even said the reason why he called you. The next thing you used to attack is putting your tight corner. Tight corner on what? Do you even know what you want to say? Have someone even come to you to tell you something about it? Hey, why impatient? You, you same people will be telling us that we should not be emotional. And all your life is full of emotions. All your life, you people are, you are eating, you are drinking, you are dining, you are whining in emotion. Shame on you. Shame on you. Shame on you people. We regret, in fact, we regret the kind of leaders we have in Nigerians. Because you people are so dupious, you are heartless. It's only about it's only about you people. If Mobad happens to be your blood, will you people react this way? And believe it all. I want to shimbo. So if you people think that uh, she be uh, Mobad is not your family, Mobad is not re related to you. Oh, oh, oh. Hey, hey. Please, do you even know? Do you even know who, who among us know the next person? If you think uh, this one happened, now, you know, consign me. Do you know who is next? And all of you that you are doing anti justice in this Mubad case, let me tell you this history will never forget you, people, too. History will not forget you because your voices, your names, your details are on the hair. Nigerians, trust Nigerians, they will dig it out when the times come. Echo the story you people want to tell us, the part that you people don't, doesn't understand that someone died, that we need justice, you will tell us, because and more excuse, Nigerians, many of us are full of excuses. The part that you people doesn't understand, then you come and tell us. That is it the part that uh, the person that died, oh, deserve justice, oh, maybe that part you people don't, doesn't understand. And when someone died, we will not leave any stone unturned. Maybe that part to you people does, doesn't understand. That you people are now doing defending, you are playing defending game for us. Tabati soro here by you, you people, you do defend. Tabati soro be, you people will do defend. We meet people, we do their own. Yeah, mobile people will do their own. Um, and our government, police, they too will do their own. Because this is the headline. Mobile autopsy, 
concluded. Police. And what happened to the autopsy? What's happened to the autopsy? The autopsy that has been concluded for long. What happened? Why are people scared to bring it out? What are you hiding? What are you covering? When, when as, when as the voice of Nigerians disturbing the justice, when? When as the voice of Nigeria disturbing you people, police to do their work, when? When as the voice of Nigeria stopping you from reading out the autopsy? Because I remember this same voice was the one you listened to when you went to exhume that body. How come? How come that same voice now is now the one chasing you people away from coming out to read that autopsy? That autopsy you said you did. Come and read it out for us. Let's see it. And come and see how God will tear una tenure. God will tear it apart if you people tamper with that autopsy. And if you people come out to come and lie, God will tear you. God will tear you to pieces, tear your reign. Good people go and read Bible. When God tear the reign of Saul, God tear it into pieces. That is exactly, if any one of you try to manipulate that result, maybe you've done it, and if not done it, if you've not done it, and you, you are lying to us, in fact, Nigerians, I know some people will still not pray for you, but some will pray for you. Now, no matter still they come out. You've been doing it, like according to what Moba said, you people have been doing it, but now this Moba case, now go, you stop him. At a lawyer, at a son, you know, at a lockpa, at a governor, even including president, because president, um, can the president want ya? Emilio Kong, what be his name? Um, Tinubu, President Tinubu. I'm sure, sir, you will not say you know hear anything about this mobile case. Tile Obada, she be at the la makpa. That is what Yoruba said. If the house is, if something is going on in the house, the elders in the house will be the one we will call on to. President Tinubu, we are calling on to you. We need justice for Mobad. We need justice for one of us that died, and we don't know what's behind him. We need to know he's human being. So if, the, if this boy deserves justice, we want justice. He deserves it. And you people, if you people try, if you people think in your own mind, in your shallow brain, that you will not give us justice, you are a joker. Because this one, we are not backing down. We will get justice for Mobad. And anyone, I repeat, I record me by Dada. Anyone, anybody born of human, born of born of a woman, maybe they carry your belly for stomach, yo. I've been a inside incubator, una develop. They carry you come out through no much I've been a knife, they use carry you come out. If you try to come against to come against this Mobad case. If you try to tamper with any evidence in this mobile case, in fact, we will get this justice behind you people. If you understand that fact, hold it to your left hand. If you try to come against this justice, eh, we will get the justice behind you and you'll be six feet under the floor by the special grace of God. If anyone try, if any one of you try to come against this justice, and the whole world that are seeking for justice truly if anyone try to sweep this justice under the carpet if anyone try to use power to sweep this justice under the carpet be on mole inu le eniye se nku lagba nu le eniye se mama ku bokun se nku nu le eniye lobirin se mama ku nu le if any one of you try to tamper this justice that we are seeking for any o ni ro mo rere spe yin ohun i rest my case don't go, don't go, please, please tell them, tell them what Berekete said today about a team of the time. Go, my pussy. Yoruba used to say something that person will never die, never know this way. We go find him or her. And he told you, Kuko Timor Kuto Maku. If you people think that you are on top of the of the sound now that you can do anyhow, you don't know what God is capable of doing. You don't know what God is keeping for you. Many of you don't even know. Maybe the atrocities you've committed in the past, God is giving you a chance now to redo it. But if you think on this mobile case that you can do beyond your power, that you can do beyond the will of God, Nemesis will cry. In fact, Nemesis will bring you down. Nemesis will bring you people down. The host of heaven will pull you people down. And go go yi, go go yi, te ban ten try lati, lati, lati cover justice for Mubad. In fact, my prayer for you is, history, two people history doesn't forget, the good and the bad. History will not forget you. Because, 
ma dieni eni eni esi e ma dieni eko e ma dieni egbe people will see you and spit on your body because you've done the, you you people have you've do what you supposed not to do and god will fight you god will fight you to, to in fact god will fight you to you lose your last breath eyin ikai eyin ikai ka oje se ti o nbe aja momo ti e fun lomu o mo to do ya ku mo le yo lori buruku many of you 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 fly your children out of the country because you know the nigeria you are building it is for animal not for human being because this you are doing even human being o le ko le survive ninu e olorun ma ju yin lo e je yin la fi ma se ra pada fun nigeria gbogbo eyin te nda nigeria la bu te fe ki nigeria de bi to ga e je yin we will use your blood to sacrifice on nigeria e ni se rere gbogbo yin gbogbo yin ta ta e ni se rere nemesis we nemesis we pay no para no para no para drink water eyin lo ri buruku yi eh we eh mi a go like stuff from your son name you see the president My name is My name is Ordinary Ahmad Isa of the Human Rights Radio and Television Brekete Family Abuja sir. Good morning, sir. Yes, morning sir. Uh I suppose I I have um, Mr. Omoto Shaw, the Honorable Commissioner of Information Lagos State sir. Right. We did live on air on Human Rights Radio and Television and the name of the program now Brekete Family sir. I sent you a message. You are me on radio or television or whatever. Like, you don't even know what I'm doing. I don't know anything. Just call me and say that. Like, that's not okay. Am I calling you to talk about your personal life or about the job you are supposed to be doing? I'm talking about my personal so, job. Do you know what I'm doing? I sent you a text message. Have you seen the message? I've never seen anything. So check your check your phone first of all before. That's not that, that's okay. Don't ambush me. I am not ambushing you. Please, you can call somebody at that time, please. I'm not okay. going to call you again. I would rather call your governor. Okay, thank you. Thank you very much. People are walking and they are feeling like they are doing people a favor. Okay, I have not even told you Who him is? the reason why I called Who him. Is An ordinary commissioner. Who is he serving? The minister just left the studio here. An ordinary commissioner that was pitied and was given an appointment as a commissioner is, is bragging. We are talking about some that requires your attention i've not even mentioned i sent you a message i called you severally i tried to reach out to you yesterday somebody gave me your number you're not doing me a favor by answering the call honorable commissioner sir you're doing your work I i'm not asking you about your wife and children now, if others now point out, oh, I'm supposed to carry on over to you. Now, I feel I feel Sakiki will know that Bracket is not pulling traffic with his platform now. Bro, I'm seeing something at your background. Is the autopsy out? Read the date, join up. This was published 21st, 21st of September 2023. Why my bad body was exhumed 19th of September 2023. Just a matter of 48 hours interval. Now, the question concerning this background is this. Uh, is it true that Mubad autopsy is being carried out in America? If true, can the autopsy uh, result be concluded? Can the autopsy text be concluded in 48 hours? Those are the questions. Can the autopsy uh, test be concluded in just 48 hours? That's my question. But is the result read out to people so they demand all of themselves the result are still out is still awaiting 
and it's concluded okay um b2 baby i want to start from what you just said right please why are we putting david Doe's name into this yeah because i wonder why david Doe's name is just being dragged into this case if you're going for a show as an artist you have a manager that received the money that they call to put an appointment down for your artist yeah so where is the manager even? The manager is not even coming out to tell us what is happening to his artist. But people saying David Doe send money, David Doe send money. We are not there. We don't even know how they send money. And in the case of we putting Neramali and this, Neramali case is bullying. Samilari case is bullying. This guy wasn't killed in a gunshot. He wasn't killed with a, a knife stabbed outside. He wasn't beaten to death. Let's keep those people side aside. Wumi, who happens to be his wife, went to a show with him, came back with him, and the next thing we had is all about his death. So you're not even giving us anything to say concerning your husband. A voice note that was aired with him, Abuebe and Ayaz, they asked him a question. Kilo Kokwe. He turned into cry. They asked again, Chemu Bado no more. He turned into cry. But she's not even coming out to tell us anything. The police as well failed us. But but we've forgotten this guy, the driver. What about the driver that drove those people from the beginning to the end? He's not even being questioned, even. Because we heard it was a rented car. Same information of minister. Come to the hair and disgrace himself. Like information no. Ah, wait for fit they pass us information. Man, I beg I finalize, I beg. Apostle, please, uh, can I come in, please? Um, uh, you see, the reason why I brought in David o, you know, I make an example because I said, and I quote, I said, if Papa Mubad did not enter Mubad house and saw the huge numbers of people in that house that day, because it's Papa Mubad who made us to understand that in Mubad house, he made somebody like David o representative, which is somebody came to that to represent David o. That is one. Two, he made mention of Zlatan. He made mention of Ayan. He made mention of Afa. He made mention of so many, so many mobilization, DJ Bami, lifestyle, and the rest of them. So, you know, I, I was trying to dig out something there like, like, I wish Papa Mobad did not move to that house. None of this immobilization, all those, uh, all those people that surround Mobad, even for the la the people that were that was with Mubad, even for the last uh, twenty four hours, even 20, even five minutes before that went by, none of them could have told us that. Look at the people who came to that house that day. If not for Papa Mubad, because all of them, even start from uh, uh, the, 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 the widow to to down, none of them have told us what really happened. So if they if they could not tell you what happened, how would they tell you people that came to the house? That is where I bring the video in, and. You know, when Mubad by there was a rumor on Please, media. Let me, when, when you said Davido representative, definitely Davido was supposed to be there. He wasn't able to be there. Then he now sent someone to come there. Is that is that the meaning? Yes. Oh. Yes. That is that, that is that is where uh, that is the reason why I. I made mention of uh, David O because the, the things you see I, I I say here because I was not there. I was not in Mumbad house when Mumbad by and I never be a witness to anything in that house that happened. But according to because we need justice, according to what we are gathering on media, according to what we heard, and that is what we are fetching out. If we want to, if we want justice for David O's Latinbu Sam Sam Lari for the bullying, these ones are even far. What it happened for us? Mobad died in the in the by in the house, you know? it by inside the room. This is my problem. Since five months, nobody have told us, and that is why that is why I bring him that. Even the hundred people they saw, nobody could have told us that ah, there was hundred people in that house that day. That is my point, and that is where I bring the video in. 
So I'm not saying we have to go to Davidona. No, these are far. What of the people that announced the death of this boy that have swollen face? These guys who have swollen face that will say, ah, he, he don't buy, he don't buy. And at the end of, at, at the, end of the day, we heard that Mobad were being fired or you're being beaten, was being stabbed. In different way, we heard a different rumor. And none of them have really told us what happened. Man, they are close to the team, but they have not opened up. I'm, yeah. I'm, I'm sure you guys. If, if we are looking for those people, then what about the wife that is in the scene? You, you you don't i think you don't understand me i, I said the people that was with that boy you. i said yes if, if, we we get, for, for if, we cannot, if we could not get the answer from other people what about the wife that is inside the scene the wife went with the that, show to that win. is that is that is the point now we need that if the government are not working right then we have to do what is right by 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 giving her justice by our how all the story happen and how it goes if you don't mind. Carry on. Let's listen to him one more time. The man said something happened. That means Mo has died around three in the afternoon, and they did not call him. Uh, later, when he would talk to them, it was around seven. When they still ask him to go back home, the mobad is okay. He said when he got there, it's around nine thirty. Okay. It no, come after me. He said, yeah, when they got there, they write all the necessary documents. Concern, Buddy man, I could see how you're feeling. I could sense what you are, as in how pained you are. But one thing we must not do is that don't let, don't let us allow emotions to run over the fat and the usual ground. It's good to protest. It's good to carry placards. It's good to make noise. It's good to shout. But. Are we considering certain factors that are within? Because one thing I always tell people is that in any situation, in the inside, somebody told me the happened elsewhere. But the response of the people and the and the disposition of the government might be different from how it is in another place. Now coming back. It's very yes, good to you. run a protest. Why, why the, way did, this question for the way you sir. did, sir. You asking the question for him, sir. No, no. The way you did in the UK is very good. Is what is encouraging. We doff our cap for you because you took it upon yourself to face the authority and tell them, make your you made your position known to them that this is what you are we are feeling. And these are the questions we need answers to. And you were dancing, you were jubilating, you were you were like at this, it was like a fun fear that the government is very cruel, that even the state is being indicted, that the state, the handwriting we are seeing on the wall, cannot completely taking away the state from the handwriting my brother if any protest is taking place the people unless if we want to surrender some sacrificial lamb as individuals then we can go on it i will not support the idea i might be wrong i might be wrong please i stand to be corrected I will not support the idea of let us have a protest. Let us have a protest. You ask the question, how can our voice be heard? Well, by my own standard, everybody is queuing behind Brekete. And even, I don't think, amount of protest we are going to see that will, be, that will sound in the good ears of the authorities than what Brekete is doing. Calling out the people that matters. No, not in a situation that they twist 
the representation or twist the words or twist whatever he's doing. He's calling them out directly. And everybody from calls, from words of encouragement and words of support, we are queuing behind him. They are okay. A minister was on his studio today and he told the minister, take the message to the president. We want the presidency to get involved. How many protests can we do to that? Because if we protest, someone will come somewhere and misinterpret what we are doing. At the end of the day, probably call on Mopos or call on armies. They start shooting, we start running. Or some non, some, uh, 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 should I call them talks or touts? We'll, we'll take that opportunity and we have to be sensitive to the situation of this country where people are looking for a venue to steal and to thief just because there is no food. You heard what, if you watch Berekete today, he said, ah, uh, he was talking of those who are forcefully saying that the amount wood has been stolen. They were done. They were they were doing it as a as a gimmick, just to to, to, to rob and to steal from people. They will say, ah, yeah, it has my brand wood is missing. People will rush down. Those who want to steal will be stealing behind. They call the attention of every stock keepers and shop owners, making them to lose focus on watching out for their for their stocks. Then those who are stealing will steal. In this situation, whereby Nigerians can do anything just to get money, we have to be very careful that any protest, all those hungry touts, all those hungry youth that don't have anything, as in the jobless ones, will mix up just because they want to turn it to a violent protest and use it as an avenue, as an avenue to either loot or steal from show bonus my brother let's kill the albuquerque and encourage him when it's time for protest we may do it but our position paper there can be position paper that will be that could be submitted i'm not ruling that out but a street protest i am i can advise we should we should not because of the sensitivity of the situation in the country we should just <laughs> so what happened to Gregsy there? Um, uh, okay. I have I'm, sure, I'm sure it should be network. Let me say maybe he's sending back. I, I, have not finished, I have not finished my submission. No, you like my question, sir. I'm sorry. And sir. you hang, hang, on, hang on a minute, um uh, Apostle. I heard your question vividly. I will be dropping in a minute. Okay. Um as I was, uh, as I mentioned earlier, I said, we are done our own part from the UK side with the support of um, other generals. I'm sure Queen of Energy, you were part of that movement. I now mention that European countries, any other countries, European countries, if they intend to do such things, mm we can still find we we, can, we, 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 we will provide the right information for them and to support them if they need to spread around um, this course okay I now mentioned before Greg C caught me up I mentioned that Brekete is there in Nigeria and he's leading that front in Nigeria already that is already on autopilot as far as nigeria is concerned nigeria this case is on autopilot with the help of god with the with the hands of brekete and his teams so let's leave nigeria the way nigeria is let's follow what we need is just to support brekete with the right information that he needs if required but outside of the shore of Nigeria, whichever information, whatever information that we can support any other nations in Europe, in America, 
then we are we are readily available to give them the support i'm not advocating for the street protest in nigeria we understand the sensitivity of that nation we don't want any loss of lives we saw what happened during the answers fine it was a protest that that, that, that led to uh, the exhumation of Mubad's body. But this is not the time. It's not the time. We are not advocating for that. Because it's already leading, but by is in the right place. Let that continue on the autopilot. Whichever any other support anyone can do in their own countries, wherever you are, fine. If it's your local council, you're living in a local area, you look in local council, and you want to write a letter to local council for them to be aware. You see a great job they did even in the New York. It was put on the, uh, 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 in Times Square. Everyone sees that. The whole world sees it, which is great. That is why I'm saying that every little helps. So as long as what can you bring in? What do you want to bring in? Let's continue to re-strategize. So that is, that is where I stand. And that is my opinion. I'm not advocating for any street protest, violent protest whatsoever. This is not the time. Let's break it up, do his job and let's see the result. With God on our side, we shall get this justice. That is my submission. Thank you. I'm done. My brother, I still give it up to you. Sometimes, it might be the result of what you did that we will be getting and ascribing the glory to, yeah, we will. to either someone else. But that thing, when it comes to UK protest, Nigeria is always very old. Outside Nigeria, sure. It could be Ghana, it could be Cameroon, it could be anywhere. Is really interested or can even is just a way there is what there is what in Yoruba we call isoleno. If the if we can have a garden just to saw Nigeria leno that something has to be done in this case. At least it's gonna be a good reference. And I encourage it. I appeal to everyone anywhere outside the shore of this country. So please join our our parents, uh, uh, parent diasporians who have done mightily and have done convincingly to stage a kind of walk to the Nigerian house. And we saw how the uh, the officer I come. Will it be an ambassador or the consular in that Nigerian house was like sweating when he was addressing them because they made him feel uncomfortable. And when the position paper was taken there, he assured them that he will get back to them in due time. With Berekete calling out the minister and probably and possibly a letter coming from Nigeria House in the UK, we are going to get justice and nothing but justice. If any, any group of persons in any part of Europe or America or Asia can gather themselves together, present a position paper to the embassy, all well and good, it's just our own little way and our contribution towards the fight and struggle for justice for mobile so if uh that's what we can do everything is not about money everything is not about noise everything is not about uh it has to be like this. Um, anybody that have been in a uh, on a podium addressing people we know that sometimes it's not everything we say that really sometimes we say it based on our opinion or ideas 
but our opinions and ideas might not be workable. In Nigeria, there is something they call law of jurisdiction. Jurisdiction is a very, very vital role that cannot be erased in a situation like this. We can, we can try, we can say whatever, but Berekete uh, has done fantastically well because uh, the way I see it, even if the matter is, is going to take place in Lagos, it will take a new dimension from the way it has been before. And the jurisdiction issue that I'm talking about is that a case is determined at the, within the jurisdiction of where it happened. There can be, okay, it happened in uh, Lagos State, it happened in Ogun State. We can tell the IG or tell the president they will have an eye towards it. Not that they will take the case away from where it happened. Let us take Adi Doing case, for example. They tried to move the matter, the case to Abuja. But when the when the issue of jurisdiction came in, the matter was decided in Oshogo State Capital. It was done in, in Oshun State. That's why some forces trying, ah, no, it must be in Abuja. We are not trusting this. We are this, we are this, we are that. But this, this jurisdiction matter will, will, will make it to be like, okay, this is where it happened, and this is where the case will be determined. The only thing is that, okay, uh, probably because we are not trusting the state personnel. You can call on the federal government. Federal government might send a committee or a, delega a delegation of certain individuals who will be keeping a close watch on the proceedings or how, it go how it's going to go. So, and uh, we, we are thanking Berekete. He has involved the president. He has involved the minister, yeah, through the minister of information, to let them know that something is happening in Lagos that the people are, people are not satisfied with the, with the with the way it's going, and with that, the president will at least, even if it's a call, I want to see the report. I want to see everything as it's been going. He, the presidency or the federal government too will have their team of oh yeah, verify from what they have written through either public or whatever, or you carry out your own. Not that they will take, they can't take it I, to the level of my knowledge, I could be wrong. The, uh, the, 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 the right of a state determining a matter that happened in that state, as far as Nigeria constitution is concerned, could be a bit difficult, if not impossible. But the federal government can show an interest that okay we want we are keenly on your neck to ensure that this case is determined and justice is served they can and that is what Berekete has done you see that the way he called the minister yesterday the Lagos state the Lagos state government is now coming out to say well we are on top of the matter we are doing this we have done this we have done that despite some of us um, understand the conspiracy that has happened. And I love that my sister, who said the way I, as in, as I thought when he said it, that, okay, maybe they are just sending, sending, the, send, sending out the samples, which I, I am believing, I am believing to agree. Because how could you just come? You have never given us an ultimatum in the past. We are waiting till kingdom come. But why now that you are saying 10 weeks? You are just giving us an affirmative period of time of 10 weeks. Why is it now? If not that you are just trying to do it and you know the duration is two and a half months. You were not at the lab, you are, you are not being updated. Even a lab cannot tell you when, uh, if a lab hasn't given you certain period in the past, how come you are just coming to say 10 weeks? Well, we play the game according, we dance, we dance the music according to the singer. So let us let us just be patient. Let us agree that our voice, our moves, and our contribution is yielding positive results. Like they, uh, they now want to 
or they just for them to even tell us the lab now which we have been asking where they've not been able to tell us they've not even been able to tell us it's a very big plus we should not we should not we should not create room for panic or for anything to to, to to any fear we should not nurse any fear we should be very very i am an objective person who is an, i am an optimistic no matter what but anywhere i see a foul i cry it out let's let's they are just normally people even people in the medical line say autopsy and toxicology shouldn't cast more than two two months eight weeks now the minister the commissioner is telling us 10 weeks that is to say they just sent it out and they know the lab they were sending it to. So we should, we, uh, if anybody can call that lab and ask them, sir, if we send sample to you, or we, am I on to whatever, whatever, if I send a sample to you, how long will autopsy and toxicology take? I'm sure they will tell you it may take up to 10 weeks. And something they have been on for the past three, four, three, four months. So, we should just be rest assured. I am very, very, I'm very, very happy with what we are getting now. That, uh, and that is the role of human rights activists: hit their bottle, eat them, eat them, danosi molabe, put it on them so that they can do the right thing. They can do the needful. They have all apparatus. They have all instruments. They have all mechanism to do the right thing but when they are not doing it you call them to order and you tell them and you tell them to do it which we are succeeding now that they must do they must they don't have a choice than to do it and uh, somebody said a protest one i well uh, people who don't live in nigeria or people who are not in lagos can agitate for a protest be it peaceful or whatever protest at this crucial time when every when everybody is in pain when even in lagos state the faction of mc Uluomo and the faction of tafasego are looking for how to how to how, how to cause violence in the state when people who when a lot of lagosians a lot of people in lagos are hungry and are looking for a venue to loot we had we had Berekete yesterday when he said uh, uh, in uh, Abuja here, people would just say, "Yeah, I, I can't see it again. I can't see it again." That the amount wood has been stolen. It's just to gather people together and let them lose focus on their stock. They are, they, 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 are, they, they, they are mission or their target is to loot and to steal from the shop owners. So someone will just stand in public, "Yeah, hey, 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 hey. I can't. I can't it, it's missing. It's missing. It's missing." All of you will rush and say, "What's missing?" From there, they have looted the job. In Lagos of today, if you try, if we try to have, we might arrange a peaceful protest. You cannot condone a protest. You cannot put them in a cage that these are the people protesting. A lot of people that you don't invite will join the protest. A lot of doubt, a lot of, even, even the state, the state can, the state, if they want to, they really want to demonize you. If they want to demonize you or they want to they want to rubbish that protest, they have their own uh, bad boys that they send. We saw it in the, during the exercise that oh yeah, go and join them and cause crisis. Go and join them and start and start and start destroying government property. They will say it's your protest. So, but the way we are going is yielding result. We are using Berkete. Uh, we are we are calling the government either through social media or whatever, whatever. And uh, on the social media that he was saying, you know that if social media is to be acknowledged by anybody, it's going to be a confusing whatever. It's going to be confusing. Facts and things that were post that have been posted on social media are something that even if you, as in like you don't know, you don't have a mind of yourself, you can get confused. Somebody can post to you and say, ah, ah. The, the, the video or the audio that somebody said the snap picture with Mubad. You you have to pick it. Uh, well, what's this? They say somebody said he saw him in the hospital that he snapped picture with him. Things like that. The man said, okay, it is what you say. And you know, radio station, they have they have they are, they, they are like they have they have uh, 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 they, they are monitored. Yeah. They are monitored. 
So if they say anything that could incite the public or that could, well, they know what they are going to lose and they pay the penalty. So that is why they have to be very careful and make sure that whatever they speak out is from whoever, whoever that comes to them. And whatever, even if you are lying and they, they come at them and say, ah, that thing you said is like, ah, this is the person that said it. Oh yeah, let us go after him. So then for you to be picking evidences and, and whatever you see on social media, I don't think the man has uh, done anything bad. Uh, another thing is the DNA that the commissioner is talking. Well, we shouldn't mix it up. The DNA, there is a DNA for paternity that we are agitating for. But the DNA, I think the commissioner is saying, is the DNA, maybe the, 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 the fingerprint, or as in those things that happen on the body of Mobad. Maybe some those who might have struggled with him, or those who might have carried him, or those who might the fingerprint of those, as in this, the, the, the those those the, the DNA of samples on on his body. Not his not his part not his paternity the paternity of his child or whatever, but is to examine the body. Let us check the DNA of those he might have engaged. Either there was, if, if there was a fracker or a fight in the house, who are those that touched him? Who are those that struggled with him? Who are those that, at least, he, he, that held him down? They will be able to determine. It's, it's called, I think it's called DNA as well. But on the paternity, that one is, is for the family to decide and to initiate, not the job of the government. Not the government. So it's, uh, I, I joined so, the call. I joined the, my voice with everybody that is calling for private autopsy. I, I, am, I am happy we are all going same route on private autopsy. We should, if we can do it as soon as possible, uh, we, should, we should be able to do it and call our private pathologists, our private pathologists, and we can move ahead and at least keep on talking, 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 but a step forward. This is what we need. These are the things we need. What are those things that we need? Let us know if the lawyer, if yeah. what we need are lawyer consent or the family consent or whatever consent, we should know if what we need is, uh, uh, the, well, I don't know, whatever. And if it's, uh, if we are going so, to say the recreation should help us to do it, fine, we will. We will. Yes. We, we, yes? Sorry to sorry Gurev, to interject yeah. you. We yeah. need to go back to the drawing board, please. Regarding to what you've said now, I don't want yeah, you to push the, everything yeah. out now, please. Yeah. Miss Andy. Yeah, Miss Andy, that's um one of the things we're gonna talk about here um today right now because I don't want us to be discouraged. I've said that earlier on, nobody should be discouraged. We have spent five months on this case and we were never tired. Ten weeks is nothing. Ten weeks is nothing. And, and, um, and my brother, yeah. let me let me just round up. Uh, well, I I yeah. mean the lawyer can if either we call the NMH or we don't call. They have given us ten weeks. If we call, what do we what what are we calling for? It's just to verify. I and you already know they lied, but now they are get they are they are getting serious and they must get serious because the world is not keeping quiet or more bad, and then. Uh, we all are not, and lastly, the question you asked that what can we do with the, for this period of 10 weeks? Well, it's very simple. I am not, I'm not a violent person. I am not a, I'm not a troublemaker, but when trouble comes, I face it. Now, what we can do is that we should raise our voice louder and to ensure that Corona inquest starts as soon as possible. In the in that period, in that period of ten months, the corona inquest for those witnesses that are left behind, for those witnesses that are left untold. If it was possible, somebody I think I heard somebody on the program when he tweeted or she tweeted, uh, that the inquest should be. She will start all over again. She will start all over again. That's, that's exactly my prayer. But if the inquest cannot start over again, they should 
they should bring it back and let us continue with their inquest and to ensure that things are done properly those that rush at them uh, spending prime boy possibly the nurse and the driver be brought back and these things can be done all of of them can come before the corona in a space of that 10 weeks before we now take the uh, autopsy and toxicology test uh later in the, at the end of that 10 weeks i think i rest my case here thank you so much mr gregzi um mr. Gregzi, the, don't go. The, <laughs> yeah, thank I you so much mr gregzi okay sir. yeah okay Okay. Yeah. Thank you for for that. Uh, I really, really love that. Um, let me, let me, let me around... hear from Aristo too. I'm sorry, my brother. I'm, I'm very I'm, sorry. I'm coming, okay, I'm coming, sir. sir, Mr. Okay, sir. Okay, yeah, okay sir. You said, some, you said some things that we need to reiterate at least brief. Then we move. We move forward. Before uh, I'm supposed to go to Mandy, but because Mr. Aristocrat has some things to ask you, um, we'll go to Mr. Aristocrat. But Mandy, I'm so sorry. I will need to take a little of your time, Jola. I did not ask of your permission before I dropped it the other time. I'm sorry about that. Thank you so much. Uh, so, um, talking about what Mr. Gregzi said earlier on uh, concerning Brekete family, I think it's actually a good one. Thank you so much, sir, uh, for all that you have said uh, concerning Brekete family. I think what Brekete family is trying to do, just like someone posted uh, in the comment section, I was supposed to pin it, but it, uh, it uh, escaped my mind. The person said Brekete family is just trying to hold everybody accountable he's just trying to hold them responsible for anything he knows what he's doing he's a man of strategy with the i'm sure the man has done a whole lot of things on the ground that we don't even know about but he's just trying to do the public work just trying to call this one okay what step have you taken what have you done so that it doesn't look like um you just want to jump into something without actually um asking the necessary authorities the the things that they have done that doesn't mean that he is not um doing something on the ground you remember when he, he talked about uh if uh the, i think the very first day on Tuesday, the very first interview or the second day um, when he, he opened his mouth and he said, Mubaz father has actually told me a lot of things that is not um, social media worthy or that is not airworthy. I want him to meet the Inspector General of Police and say it one on one to the Inspector General of Police. So there are some informations, even though you know it, even though it's on the internet, that might not be disclosed from the mouth of Mubaz father. There are some informations that will not come out from his mouth. There are some things that the man is not going to talk about. You understand? Because um, the level where he is now is is at is at the global level that you need to watch those things that are coming out from his his mouth. Energy wings, thank you. You need to watch those wings that are coming. I mean, the words coming out from his mouth. He, he shouldn't just be talking anyhow. So he needs to. You you see this morning now when they ask him, um, Baba Mobad, talk to the commissioner. What do you want? The man went straight to the point. I think we should bring back the corona inquest. Not too much story. Yesterday, how yesterday he, he summarized the whole of everything in less than five minutes. You see that the man is a man of wisdom, he's working with people that are wise. So we all should do what we all should try and work together, just like we've been doing. Thank you so much, everybody. We should work together, we should not be discouraged, and we should keep praying for break, break it the family. So um I think what he is doing now on the outside is trying to hold everybody responsible. You understand? Oh, who is the one that is carrying the, the shovel? Okay, is that man that is carrying the shovel? Uh, Mr. Shovel Man, how many shovel did you have? Have you watched the shovel? Da, da, da. But he knows that one of the shovel is missing. He has the shovel with him, but he's trying to call the Let's 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 part up, please. Let's let's like the light. I think probably that flagging. Please. He already he already has one of the shovels, but the man is still there claiming he has nineteen shovels, whereas he has eighteen shovels. So this man is a man of wisdom. What we should do is to keep praying for him. Thank you so much. Um, let me quickly go to uh, Mandy. I'm sorry, I'm supposed to come to you just like I said earlier on. Let me go to Mr. Aristocrat. Mr. Aristocrat, it's nice having you uh, once again on the, on this platform. Uh, thank you so much for making out time to be on this platform today. Thank you for standing for justice for mobile. Really appreciate you. Thank you. Um, over to you, Mr. Gregory. Good morning, H. Um, <clears throat> good morning, everyone. Good afternoon. Uh, 
Good night, whichever time you find yourself. Straight to the point, yeah? Mr. Gorelsi, I always like to listen to you because I think you're one of the stable voices, especially when you talk, your, your explanations are clearer. Now, this is what I want to advise. Uh, sparing all rhetorics. I think there is need for the lawyers and the people close to Joseph Aloba to go back to the drawing board and learn from the past and we begin to take more actions there are a lot there are a lot of places where there are lapses i'm not blaming anyone but just for us to learn and one of this is this one thing that is making brekete to gain traction is is using the media to amplify his voice now we can take straight from what he has said as much as we discuss on social media social media in the serious word is not perceived to be uh, a credible medium of information. You find out that 30 percent of it is information while the rest are cooked up. That is social media for you. And if we look into the media segmentation in Nigeria, social media only forms about 20 percent. It's simple uh deep stick is this most of the people that talk on social media even on this matter check the number of people that are not in nigeria there seems to be more than people in nigeria talking on social media that is to tell you its penetration now this is what i want to say if the team goes for back to drawing board you need to begin to maximize the press maximize the press in a way that it takes the matter serious. There are people in power when they want information, just like someone like me, if not for justice from Obad, I don't do anything on social media, do I have all accounts. I only come there for entertainment. If I want serious information, I go to TV and I go to news and radio. Now we need to begin to strategize and have Media strategy, social media strategy, and we have stakeholder engagement strategy, and you have the legal strategy. Now, whatever the legal teams are doing is a feeder to what the media strategy need to put out, is a feeder to what the stakeholder strategy need to governize. If you don't do it, you will find out that we continue to look like for someone like Brekete. If we up to since they've killed him. She agreed that he was killed. And that is why I and they will not stop using that word killed. And we continue to be using that word killed. 6 September 11, when Mobad was killed till late november when we have a new legal team working with joseph oloba the question is this do we make any progress at all yes we made a wonderful progress but i'm not going to scale it after the legal team took over the case from the previous lawyer do we make any progress? Yes, we made a fantastic progress. When I'm saying we make a, uh, 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 a important progress, I'm referring to all the people on social media, all the people on Grand and the legal team now i will now pull my scale to 50 halfway of 100. now what progress have we made since we channel our energy justice for mobiles to break a family since on the 29th of 
January 2024. But before I proceed to that January 29, 2024, what as legal statements or the Lagos police have done with us. They've played with our intelligence in every corner of lives. How do we know that? Normally, from my own research, I got to understand that when we are talking about autopsy, when we are talking about toxicology, well, all these things are half stage by stage. And I will just read it out from my research. There are two main types of autopsies, forensics and clinical. The first one is performed in a case of suspicious violence or unknown cause of death. The second one is performed in the hospital by the pathologists based on the concept of the deceased nest of kin in order to find the better understanding the causes of the death. Now, I don't want to jump into what the commissioner of the information of Lagos State said this morning. But let's go back to on the 29th January when Joseph Oloba, the leader of this Justice for Mobad, appeared at Berekete. We've achieved a lot with Berekete family. Me, I'm part of Berekete family. Anybody that is seeking true justice for Mobad, he or she, one way or the other, they are part of Berekete family. Now, Berekete, ordinary Ahmed, President Ahmed, is a very intelligent person. I have learned a lot from him. I have been with Berekete for the last four or five years. But during this justice for Mubad, I have learned a lot from him when I'm listening to him, watching him live or replay. He's well intelligent, man. He listen, he grab. Now, what has he done so far regarding to this justice for Mobad? He has called the PRO of the whole federation. We heard what he said. What has PRO said? Miwa. He threw everything back to Lagos State government. Our hand is not there. <laughs> Oh, Kita, can you mute, please? Okay. In that area, it first of all exposed the Lagos police. What has he done? He took the case back to Lagos state government by calling the Commissioner of Information of Lagos State, Omotasha. What has he done yesterday and today? I'm coming to that. Berekete, I've went to Lagos, spent at least six days in Lagos. He left his own studio, his own job, his own family. He traveled to Lagos only because justice for Mubad. That tells us a lot. 
Now, let's straight to what really happened today, that play today. When he put call through to Mr. Omotosha, the Commissioner of Information of Lagos State, they have, I can tell you that when the commissioner started his story, he started his story the way Governor Babajide Sonwolu spoke with the journalists that came from the eastern part of that country by saying that they destroy, they destroy one of the best forensic hospital in West Africa during the NSAS. Is that what we are asking for? That is not what we are asking for. He made mention of some silly things which I'm not expecting from him. All what they are ex asking you is what have you guys done regarding to justice for Mobad? Now, the point is this. The ordinary Amer gave him another chance. Can we have the name of the hospital? What is the name of the hospital? A old commissioner of information of Lagos State have to went back to go and ask the hospital that the autopsy is being carried out, that gives a signal that something, many things is not, many things is not right. Because you are being given 24 hours yesterday. And the ordinary president did give you another chance. I will call you back after 10. And you call yourself a commissioner of information of Lagos State, and you don't know what have happened over the last five months, where the autopsy is being carried out, where the toxicology is being done. That tells you that many things is fitting. And now, what happened? I can tell you for free. Nothing is done regarding to that autopsy. Nothing is done. They took what they wants to took out from Moba's body and they kept it. Nothing is done with it. Nothing is done with it. Nothing is done with it. Nothing was done with it. But where they start having trouble when they start where they start having trouble is when they saw baba mobad at berekete at abuja studio on the 29th of january last month they start panicking i can use that word they start panicking because they know how the man is heavily strong now the commissioner came and he said to the whole world this is a global case this is a global case the commissioner the lagos states i will now say governor baba Sonwolu, because that man is representing the governor of lagos states the center of excellency they should be ashamed of themselves because mobad case is global this is not a local case. It's a global. And the reason I can agree with people saying that the autopsy is not carried out in anywhere. It's not surprising because autopsy is only last between three to four weeks. That is it. Now, one thing I want to say is this. We should be patient. We have been patient for the last five months. Five months. And we are still there. 
10 weeks is just around the corner there in a trickle of eyes. We will get there. And this is another point. Why do you think the Commissioner of Information of Lagos State gave us 10 weeks? I will tell you the reason. It's very simple. If you good by thinking, you ponder on things, it's only because the autopsy will be sent out and it's only lasted for three weeks. But don't forget, there is a queue. There is a queue. That is why they decided to put it 10 weeks. That is why they put it 10 weeks. And I can tell you, they've contacted them already. The hospital, they've made mention. They've contacted them. We want these autopsies to be done. We believe there's a queue, but we are bringing it to you today, tomorrow. It will get to you tomorrow, next tomorrow. When do you think we can have the results? That is why the commissioner of the information said it's going to take 10 weeks, within 10 weeks. And now, I will only appeal that we should be patient more. The autopsy will be carried out. And apart from the autopsy, there's many loopholes that we can get whatever things we want to get. Some people are saying the body of Mobad, the body of Mobad is decaying every day every day there's no doubt in that but we have other things that we that we are seeking for justice for mobad that we are going to catch the killer it's not the only autopsy is going to catch the killer of mobad there's many hundred of ways to catch the killer of mobad now when we go back to the issue of private autopsy can we have our own private autopsy the answer is yes we can and don't forget the first day or the second day when he was being interviewed ordinary ahmed ordinary president rather interviewed joseph oloba Go and check again. He said, we are going to do our private autopsy. And when we come to social media, when we push for a private autopsy, it's just a reminder. It's a reminder. And don't forget, ordinary president, he knows that there's many loopholes many foul play and don't forget in one justice do you think ordinary ahmed ordinary president will be sitting down there and they will bring out a fake result being dotted do you think you will accept that the answer is no but the way things is going now i can tell you for free they can they cannot tamper with the results they cannot tamper with the result of that autopsy. I have that assurance. This is my own personal opinion now. This is my school of thoughts. Because now it's not Governor Babajide Sonwolu that killed Mobad. It's not Lagos State that killed Mobad. It's not Nigerian police that take gun and kill Mobad. Now, why do you think they are going to put themselves in a mess? Why do you think they are going to put themselves in a mess? Actually, when you look at the beginning, they wanted to cover the crime being committed by some people. But now, the way we are pushing it is not a global case that everybody is watching. I think they will love and they will remove 
the ancillate. You that you commit the crime, go and face the justice. I think that's where we are heading to. And please, Berekete, I've done very, very well. What about the DNA? My dear brother talks about it. Grace, about a few hours ago. The DNA that they are referring to, the Commission of Information, is different to the paternity. It's part of what I read out. You understand me? That, okay, the death of somebody looks suspicious. What Apple is part of it, and don't forget the commissioner of the uh, the commissioner of information made mention of it. Now let's put that one at aside. Now, what about the DNA of the innocent child? That one is still there. We are going to do that. I keep saying very soon we will hear. And what can we do when we get that one? Definitely, we know that is coming out negative. But some people that they believe maybe because they lack information of what is going on behind the scene, which I cannot blame them. You understand me? But it's coming very soon. What can we push out for again? We can continue to be pushing out for Corona inquests. And there's something that happened on that third Millennium Bridge on the 11th of September, 2023, that nobody mentioned. Nobody mentioned. Nobody mentioned. There is a lot that happened in that house. Nobody mentioned. You understand me? But what can we do? That corona inquest, we want to push it back. When we are when we are discussing them, let's continue mentioning that corona inquest. It's very crucial, it's very, very important in what we are doing. You see, these people, there's no amount of money they can spend there no amount of what they will say on ear or off ear the truth cannot be hidden anymore the truth cannot be hidden anymore the truth cannot be hidden anymore and i think my dear brother or like they, i think a major suggestion can the legal team of baba lawyer comes to the studio you understand me I believe, this is my own school of thought now, I believe we are not going to get to that stage before we get justice for Mubad. We are not going to get to that stage before we get justice for Mubad. You understand me? And don't be surprised. Don't be surprised. Don't be surprised. The 10 weeks the Commissioner, informa uh, the commissioner of Information said, if the inquest starts next week, we might see more light before even that result comes. Before that result comes. Now, what about the petition? There's nothing hid under the sun anymore. Forget, Berekete is aware. It's just bringing it one after the other to expose them. Tomorrow, the petition will be, will be pasted. The petition will be read out. At the studio i can guarantee you the petition is everywhere because baba mobad is just bringing this along along with ordinary president they are just bringing it one after the other to expose them you understand and the reason why the petition is not being read out today is because of the time it's because of the time. There's nothing. It's because of the time. Tomorrow, when they read it, they will have more time. You understand me? And don't forget, people saying that, oh, Baba, oh, Baba did not talk yesterday or two days or three days ago. Don't forget, it's not only Mubad case. Even self Mubad case, I jacked many cases at Berekete. Thousands of cases lying down there. But we can see that ordinary Ahmed, ordinary president, channel his energy on this particular case. How many times ordinary presidents have traveled because of one case? I don't know. I don't know. And look, I have said it about four weeks ago. Mubad Aloba 
primaries in Lady Olowa was the first person to be exhumed. And he will be the first person to have second barrier. That should give us a gleam of hope. You understand me? Not every word that the Commissioner of Information said that we can chop in the garbage. It talks a little bit about it. That all eyes on them because of this. And there is a lesson for everybody. They have been very, very careful. That is why we need to choose our word very, very carefully. You understand? That is where we need to be very, very careful with our words. Now, since Barakete have joined this struggle, I can tell you that from 50 percentage that I scaled before, I can tell you that we've moved to 80 because he's exposing them. Let's just zoom in. What happened yesterday? Woto Woto between ordinary presidents and the Commissioner of Information Lagos State and Berekete decided not to call him back. Do you think that the case is going down? The case is going down. But he has shown his humbleness by submitting itself very low to the Commissioner of the Information only because justice for Mubad to expose them. We should be happy. 10 weeks is just around the corner there. You understand? We ourselves, some of some, we knew, we have the idea already that this thing, they, do, they are not doing anything about this thing. But we don't have a concrete evidence but now for the commissioner of information to come out and tell us it's going to take another 10 weeks then we have the audacity to say that oh you people are not doing anything because we are living in a civilized world in a digital world that you can just go go how many weeks does autopsy take the google will tell you straight off it's three weeks now how many months are we now over five months it's not being carried out please i will just advise everybody none of us should relent because we are getting to the promised land and we will reach that promised land he shall allow by the grace of god we will reach that promised land because if we are now, we are now being tired. We are derailed. Oh, this thing is taking too much. You need to ask yourself for the last five months, what have you gained? If 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 you if you decided to option out. Some of us along the journey of this justice for mobile, we will be tired, we will weak. That is why we need to encourage one another. It's just like when the Israelites are going to the promised land. They, some of them are tired, but they help one another to get to the promised land. Please, let's continue. What need to come out when it comes to the public? What we don't need to come out to the public right now, we not come until the due date there's a lot that is is happening behind the closed door that even me standing standing sorry i just got for berekete you understand the each talk <laughs> you you are smart to berekete with due respect I ah, know no, no, no. you're right, sir. Yeah, let them continue doing it. 
You understand me? That is the evil they know how to do. And if you look since yesterday to today, those who are calling Berekete family, they are justice for Mubad. When they first saw Joseph Oloba at the studio, you see them calling. Do you see them calling again? No. Because the truth is catching up with them. The truth is catching up with them. That is it. You understand? And I will just say to everybody that please, there's no leader among of ourselves. We only have one leader. It's Joseph Aloba. We are all equal in this justice for Mubad. Either you come up to come and speak, or you are a host, or you are a commenter, or you don't even comment, you just say that we are all equal. As long that you are for justice for Mubad. You understand me? And you know we are not equal. We have different talents. You understand me? Some people have the talents to speak. Some people have the talents to start typing. You understand me? Some people have the talents to become an host. You understand me? Some people, they don't even have that talent. It's only for them to listen. You understand me? Because we have different talents in lives. And please don't see yourself as inferior if you cannot come up to speak. Don't see yourself as an inferior person if you cannot in his own money to travel. Justice for Mubad. He doesn't know Baba before. He doesn't know Baba. It's not related to Baba. It came across only because of justice for Mubad. That is a family man. Left his family behind and travel. We have the likes of Arifa as well. The life of Pepsi. Even serve you the inch with your time for you to do other things. Some of us, with our time, we come on social media only because we want justice for Mubad. And by the special grace of God, anything that we are doing, despite the fact we know that we are going to have the justice, you understand me? We still need to look unto the Almighty God. Continue praying hard. We know that this world that we are living is full of injustice. But in trust with Almighty God, we will have this justice. He shall allow. Amen. So much. Thank you so much, uh, Mr. Andy, for your contribution. And you are always there. Hey, ladies and gentlemen, Mr. Andy is always there. If at the end of Justice for Moba what comes from the other side, just to intimidate and to make Baba Moba look wicked. A body was the body was buried for and and it got exhumed after nine days. We shouldn't expect it to be as fresh as a fresh body. And in preserving or in going, as in having an autopsy for a body that has been buried and exhumed, anyone that sees it, which I was opportune to be a party to, might be having a kind of notion that this is not how a fresh body is. But we must not forget that the body was exhumed. It was passing through the. It was. It was. It was taking. It was already taking the process of decomposition while being buried before it was exhumed, and getting it to be preserved, it has to pass through some systems that I I may not be able to say now. But the fact is, saying the body is decomposing is just to label the man who is saying that or label us that we are saying no justice no barrier or to intimidate us please and please the body is as it's supposed to be a, an exhumed body that is being preserved for autopsy so let's let's just keep that away and let's be proud of what we are doing we are on the right track the body anytime we want to do our own private autopsy the body is there 
it's just that the, the sample and uh, uh, the specimen that is needed are there. So thank you very much. Thank you so much, uh, Mr. Gregsy. Um, really appreciate that clarification. Um, the body is in a good position. Um, he is um, in a good position as it, it is supposed to be. Thank you for clarifying the air. Thank you for making us understand that. Um, so now we have it. If we want to pass information to everybody, let us try and um, whatever platform we go to, let us try and um, enlighten people that it's not like the body is getting rotten, but it's actually in the position where it is supposed to be. And um, for the person that is, um, the person, somebody just drop a comment. Now and the person said so a, a certain individual. I think I have not heard of that name before. Uh, a certain individual is actually re um, screen recording the program. Um, thank you so much for screen recording. Uh, whosoever it is that you, the person is, I have not heard of that name before. Uh, and uh, do I want to hear of the name? No. Do I want to know the person? No. Do I care about the person? Absolutely no. What do I care about? We care about justice for mobile on this platform. And um, if there is anything that is against justice for mobile, uh, or if there is any individual that is against justice for mobile who wants to do anything that is wrong um the state governments are not doing anything regarding justice for more party me i'm telling you like it seems they just assume the body for assuming sake just to appease us because the the shouts on the social media the paparazzi and everything was so much for them that they just have to do something you know yoruba will say kafi tumoloju you understand that kind of thing that was exactly what they did. They have not been doing anything. Because if you are working on something, like when they ask you a question about it, you should have that boldness. You should have that fluency in your speech. You should have that confidence about everything that is going on regarding that matter. Justice for mobile has been, I can say, the highest case so far since September till now has been the most talked about topic in the social media so why will you say you don't know like when the commissioner was saying i don't know today i was just laughing say ah, ah. so you say don't know because it is funny you were given 24 hours to go and concoct your lies oh, I don't... so to to get your own script and everything and you still come to tell us you don't know and the only thing you can lie about is the fact that uh, they've burnt they've burnt the forensic service, the forensic center in Lagos. They burn it. It's a big lie. It's a big lie. I go to Island Maternity every Thursday. I go to Island Maternity every Thursday. It is very close to that place. It wasn't burnt down. That place wasn't burnt down. It for was Atina, just for Atinata. Mm -hmm. Gracie. Mm -hmm. So that place was wow, just happy about my dog. <laughs> wow. was just vandalized. Like you know, when someone was throwing stones, throwing something, so the glasses were broken. Even the last the last week I wanted to video the place. I was just like because it was not burnt down. So if you need to repair it, it shouldn't take anything if you can rebuild all the old police station in lagos states why is it that the only forensic service we have or you claimed we have in the whole nigeria is being left out in the whole nigeria you're telling us in the whole nigeria it was only one one forensic service which was at broad street in cms so if you're telling us that that center is the only one serving the whole nigeria and it was being vandalized during answers why don't you repair it isn't that mismanagement and some kind of non challenge attitude at your at your own side yes you are telling us you are not even capable of doing lots of glass here for me you are telling us you are not capable of the job and the position you wear that's what they are telling to us if we have a only one unit that serves the whole nigeria the whole giant of africa and something happened it's not being burnt down that you want to build another one all the police station that was burnt down in lagos state all of them were rebuilt repainted restructured that even police station now eh you might not even be able to differentiate it from hotel if not for the flag that is there 
Sure, you understand. And you are telling us the forensic service, you did not bother to repair it. I saw that place. That place is just like a ghost town. It was there, abandoned there. And the only damage I saw there, because even that last week, I had to peep in from the gate, check the fence is not too tall, so I was able to see it very well. It wasn't burnt down. It was like, you know now, when they throw something, all the glasses was shattered and that's all. And you did not bother to repair it. And you now have the guts to say you are you, you you went to America or UK or something to go and the money that you took from the government's pocket to send it to outside country. Why don't you even use that money to repair that center? Because it will be it will it will be of more value to all the old Nigerians. There are other there are other things that is happening, there are other cases that need to be investigated. It is that place is even close to DNA center. The DNA center and the forensics, they have I can even say it is in the same compound. Very close. So why would you say you just leave that and you even have the mouth? Hey, it's a low duty to say you left it there since end was 2020. Over three years, you left it there. The only the only institution that's serving the whole country. So that's so annoying. Okay, so saying the autopsy is not ready it will take 10 weeks to my own opinion based on my own opinion they just collected sample and put it in one fridge that's what they did they put it in one storage center i they did not take it anywhere maybe it was the because of the pressure that is now going on now they now wanted to attend to the sample i guess that's what they want to do because people are now looking up to them the whole nation are looking up to them now they wanted to take action before they are doing nothing so if anyone is coming out to tell me that the Lagos state government is doing anything regarding justice for mobile i'll just tell them to go and sleep okay if falano still claims he is standing on justice for mobile why didn't he push the narrative that they want the other result to come out as quick as possible why don't he even emphasize or talk about the autopsy at all the follower that i know when he's handling a case he, do, he normally do public speech like he will come out to tell people this is how this thing is going he has never for once do that in this case so why will you now tell me he's a representative of justice for mobile he is not he is not because if he's really for justice for Mobad, if at all all the all their narrative is it is the autopsy, women said the autopsy, everybody said the autopsy. Why don't you just fight for the autopsy result to come out? Yes, so we know you are doing something. We know you really care about the autopsy. Because we we are we, we go beyond the autopsy. It is not only the autopsy. What was happening before they need the nurse? Because the autopsy is more like they want to nail the nurse in that part. What happened? Why did it need? There's a whole lot of questions to be answered. So about the DNA part, I really appreciate Baba Mobad for not accepting their offer. Because this offer was thrown to me at first. And they beat about the bush, sue some people, threaten some people because of the DNA. Tell very dark man you are going to sue him 300 million. Say a lot of things to avoid this DNA issue. And later, after months, you are now coming out that Baba should come and sign. Sign what? I even appreciate the man because then I was part of the people that were saying Baba should not sign any document. What if it is a non disclosure document that whatever the result is, he cannot present it outside? What if it is part of part of the document that they are claiming he should come and sign? Why does when does doing DNA involves getting document, document, document? It should have been a family matter, but since they have they they wasted that opportunity, it is now a criminal matter. Yes, we are not doing it to check the paternity of Liam alone. We are doing it to now know the motive, if there's any motive to the mother of Mobad, to the pain of that guy. We want to know. So now my my own the way I'm looking at it, Brekete knows how he's playing his game. He knows how he's doing his work because he has been in this for over ten years. So we are not to teach him how he's going to do. He knows the Nigerian government like the palm of his hand. So he knows them better. 
Yoba we say oh se oh le lo mercy oh le to lori akpata. So he knows them, he knows their tactics, and he knows how to get them. So we shouldn't be expecting every information to be coming on social media. Yes, I will also. Baba said to the commissioner today that he wants the corona inquest. Let corona inquest start. So from the corona inquest, they are going to push the DNA. We are not doing the DNA as a separate entity again. We've given them the chance. They lost it. We've given them the chance. They lost it. So we are not doing DNA as a separate entity or as a civil case. It is not a civil case again. It should be mentioned in the inquest since someone come out to say that there is a fight on the Tommy Lamb Bridge regarding the paternity of Liam. So that's a case. If that is being presented at the court, then they can they can call for DNA to know if that's really true or not. So there is a there is a whole lot to uncover in this case, and I know God is God has been our support and he will always continue to support us. A whole lot of people have died in Lagos State. A whole lot of people have died in Nigeria. A whole lot of people have died in the whole world. But this Mubad case is very, very different. We are not saying there is no similar person that has died by this means, but we are saying the anointing of Mubad head flows even in the grave. So we are going to get justice for him. We are going to get justice for him. So if they say they want to take more than 10 weeks, let them go. Since the very first day they started, we are now in five months and we are still speaking for him. So two months or three months shouldn't be a source of like, it shouldn't cause any rules or anything. Sure, you understand? So we should give them that three, that 10 weeks they want. We should give them. But I will still advise the ordinary Ahmed to go for an independent autopsy because their result me oh i no trust them bah shin shin like this i no trust them no result they can give me now we still have to him because the way they've been acting so far does not act as if they want to be transparent to us no they've not acted as if they want to be transparent to us the fact that they even went to conduct an autopsy and no pathologist from the family of mobad is present the only person present there was blessing what does blessing know about autopsy if they are taking something that they shouldn't take, if they are touching a part that they shouldn't touch, how is Blessing going to caution them about that? The person that should have been there, like the government should have required Baba Muba to present a pathologist from his angle. Who would, who would they work together and see that, okay, well, this is the before they touch him, this is after they touch him, these are the samples that was taken from his body that's how it should have gone but they only allow blessing there what does blessing know what does she know she's just going to accept with everything they tell her she does not she can't even differentiate a from b it should have been a pathologist from their hand so that will that's a that is transparency so they won't come tomorrow and said the government do this the government do that they'll be able to defend themselves but now they can't defend yourself because blessing can only say what she sees she does not know the meaning of what they are doing she does not know even the fact that they are claiming mobad was stabbed mobad was do this mobad did that which is part of the physical aspects of the autopsy it is part of the physical procedure of the auto of the autopsy blessing if blessing is a pathologist or she was there with a pathologist that could explain to her this is what we see this is this this is that she should be out now to defend the fact that moba does not have any stab or moba has a stab she should be out to defend but she can't come out because she can't even affirm to something she saw that's the difference there is no the, the like the way these governments eh, like they are just making everything to, to, to they are just joining everything together it's so annoying must they be nonchalant about our citizens life something that can never happen in abroad like when i listen to bracketers case of chinese people coming to even to even treat us anyhow in our own country it is annoying something that we cannot do there when we go to their country, we do we we, we we abide by their rules. But when they come here, they will still cheat 
us on in our country and our government cannot even defend us that's it our government cannot defend us in our country people that are outside they cannot call me why like they are so nonchalant about this case and it is annoying it is very very annoying me i will push to the fact that they